leave my husband for you? Is that what you think? No, I would never because my name is Claudia and I'm Clinton's wife. Babe, where are you? I'm at the office. Clinton, I am losing my mind. And you're a few seconds away from seeing the face of your wife on all news channel and every tablet as the mother of your ex-wife. Listen, boy, calm down, baby. Just calm down, please. Help is on the way. Okay, I, 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 I know you feel terrible right now, but please do not do something irrational. Please. Please. Just get her out of here. If not, I swear to God, I am going to pour her hot water. I understand. Hey, babe, 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 I understand. You have every right to do so, but please don't do it. Do not do it, all right? Please, please. I'll, I'll be there soon, please. Please, please. Do it. Do, just do it. Get her out of my house. Get her out of here. Trying me, and I may be forced to do something that we both will regret. Leave my house. Where, where is she? Oh, there you're pest, ranting like a loose funnel, right? Why, why don't you just come down? Come down, open this door. Let's know who would do something that both of us will regret. Come down. Leave my house. My husband's house? My house? Of course, it's my husband's house. That automatically makes it my hair. Claudia, you flash. You are no longer married to him. Oh, is that what he laid on your door? Oh, no, no, no. It can't be. Because you are just an opportunist. You feel you have landed by stealing my man, right? Is that what you think? Claudia, I am not going to say this again. Leave my house now because you're trespassing. <laughs> Do you know the meaning of trespassing, you primitive swine? Do you know? Oh, if you are really active in school, you will know I am not the one trespassing. You are. Because I am not the one living with a man that is not my husband. You, you know what? You, you're just an idiot. And I will deal with you. I will deal with you. You feel you can take my man away from me, right? You are a bitch and no, I will deal with you. Not Claudia. She's not a bitch, Claudia. And. He stopped being your husband a long time ago. What you're doing now is nuisance. I trespass, should I remind you? And who are you, mister? I am Mr. Okono Satoni. And right now, you are breaching the restraining order issued against you. The person you should really tell that is the spoker of that. Tell her because she's the one that has taken my husband away from me. My husband! Ma'am, you need to leave this premises right now or you will force me to unleash the full strength of the law against you. Oh. Yeah, I'd love to see you do that. I want to see you do that. Lady Gladia, oh, what are you doing here? Thank what do you think you are doing? Oh, Kikide, thank you for coming. Thank God you are here. Please, can you please explain to these people, I mean, to this, this dummy up there, that this is my husband's property. And I want her to leave this place this minute. Please, can you please tell them? I'm sorry, madam. You shouldn't be here. Excuse me? Are you not my attorney? Is this not your job? You're not supposed to be here. 
within this facility, you are violating the court's direct order, and that can be consequences. I hope you know that. Thank you for coming. Hmm? Please restrain your client. Mm. Don't listen to this man. Do your job. I'm doing my job. Excuse me, do your job. I'm what job are you, you doing? out of this facility. It's not fair. Let's go. Come down and leave my husband's property. Come down and leave. You should take her out of here and not me. She's the one that's taking away my husband. My husband, my husband, my husband. This is my husband's property. Take her away from here and not me. She can't be thrown out. What, what are you saying? She's legally married don't, don't, to the don't, man. Don't, 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 don't tell me that. Don't, don't, don't say that to me. Let's go. Let's go. I am not done with you. I am not done with it's you. Okay. You think you think I will let it slide? You think I will let it slide? I am not done. I am coming back for you. You are not doing your job. Okay? You are not doing your job. I am not coming back. Take her out of here. I am coming back for you. I am coming back for you. I am in it. Leave my house. Get Kate, you need to stop it. What is Kate, wrong you need to stop it. What is the meaning of this? What Why is you need to stop it? Because you are not doing your job. What is it? Exactly what I'm doing. Keeping you away from trouble so that you won't land yourself in more trouble than what you have already done. And what is that supposed to mean? I should be the one asking the question and you, Lady Gladia, giving me answers. What were you doing there? Huh? Who are you working for, Kate? And what's that supposed to mean? It meant what it's supposed to mean. Kate, the last time I checked, I hired you. I pay you monthly. So you are not supposed to stand here and lecture me like one of your students because I am not. <laughs> I am your legal counsel. One of them. It's my job to keep you away from trouble. But the way you are listening out in every minute, every opportunity you have, is making it extremely difficult for us to do our job. <laughs> Kate, if you are doing your job, mischarge and be a lawyer. You wouldn't allow that girl to step into my husband's property, taking my place where I am supposed to be. You would not. <sighs> Lady Gladia, you are violating restraint order issued against you. Do you know what that means? Do you have a clue of what will happen if Mr. Kono files a case against you? Violating, which I'm pretty sure he will. Mm. You don't know shit. You don't know. Kate, Kate, I'll advise. You go and learn your job. Not to sit down every day here looking for a new vocabulary to unleash on me. Come on, tell you something. I am a fighter. And if you refuse to do this with me, tell you something, I can do this alone. And if anybody stands on my way, I will crush the person. I mean, I will crush everyone that stands on my way. Get that? I don't care what they think, I don't care what they say. Wapulo no mana, anyhow I want, I go live my life. I go for what I want. Why is she anyhow, so impossible? Anytime, anywhere, until I'm chotty, I'm not sure. Yakotoba. I be bad egg, I grieve. If you do anything at all. Elosa. No. I'm still here, but she she left. 
I don't know. I don't know, but I, I feel she's going home. No. Yes, sir. So, you know Gladia is a very difficult woman. I think we need to pressurize her so that she can see reason. <sighs> She's threatening everybody. And I wonder what she feels she can do. Yes, sir. No, no problem, sir. Everything is okay now. Um, I'm in my car. Okay, sir. I... <clears throat> I expect some gesture from you. Okay, sir. Thank you so much, sir. I will keep you posted. All right. Take care. Yeah, what they think, I don't care what they say. Anyhow I want, I go live my life. I go forward. Anyhow, anytime, anywhere Until I'm chotty in the church Yakotoba 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 Now maybe this oh Yakotoba Yakotoba How are you doing? I'm okay. Just a bit walked up. I am really sorry. You had to go through this, Millicent. I'm really sorry. I will put her in her place. Trust me. I will. I will put her where she belongs. Fine. I'm tired and I need to rest. It's fine. It's no, no, I'll help you. I'll help you. I'll help you. Hey. Huh. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Kono. I had to come here as fast as I could. Marissa, this is the third time in three months. Hmm? Why does she keep doing this? Why? Look, I understand that she's retarded. But this, mm, Marissa, I will not take. Um, you have to let us do what we know best to do. That was what I was telling your wife before you walked in. We'll put her in her place. You really think that I'm going to confront a character like Claudia? Baris? No. So, so what are you going to do? Not at all, Barrister. Everything goes for a man who's defending his home, Barrister. I'm upset that idiot buys into my house in my absence, Barrister to traumatize my wife. Look at her. And how do you expect that I will take this? That I should sit still and do nothing about it so that what it would happen over and over again? Huh? See, whatever you do on your own now, we amount to illegality. Even crime. Is that so? Yes, you have to let us handle this. How exactly do you intend to handle this, Barrister? I'd like to know. I will set up a meeting with Claudia's lawyer and see if the amendment can be put to the restraining order. I will make her stick to it. By hook or crook. Please, I'm begging you, let us undo this. I'll do what you have to do, Barrister. I'll do 
to your job. I'll attend to my wife. Okay, I'll find my way out. I be bad egg, I grieve. I fi do anything at all. No, just stand on my way. I beg you, hold your hand, device. Oh. I love to raise dust. I love to see people in pain. I love to break people hearts. So. Now me be happy in Legio. Yes, I am suggesting we schedule an urgent meeting, if possible today. We need to cage that lady legally before she makes somebody commit a crime that can be avoided. Okay, sir. Uh, okay, I, I will expect your call. I'll wait for your call. Okay, thank you. I be bad egg, I grieve. I feel do anything at all. No, just stand on my way. I beg you, hold your hand, device. Oh. I love to raise dust. I love to see people in pain. I love to. Look, I know that this is hard. I know that you're not happy. I'm also not happy, baby. I mean. We did not bargain for this. But trust me, we're going to solve this problem, please. How do you think I feel, Clinton? <laughs> I'm going crazy. Your ex-wife has been coming here to threaten me, my family, everything. How do you think I feel about all of this? It's hard, I know. But please. I'm not sitting still, baby. I will solve this problem. Believe me. Really? Can you? Yes, I can. Listen, that retarded woman is trying to force me to do something that isn't right. She wants me to do something that is unlawful. Would you want me to do something like that? No. I've been talking to the lawyers, you know, we're taking legal steps on how to, you know, cover her of her excesses and, and get her to stop. Please, we're working on it. Clinton, I know that you are doing something about it. But from what she has continued to do, it is obvious that what you're doing is not good enough. <sighs> Baby, don't say that. I'm trying. Okay? Look, okay. If you have ideas, you, 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 you can tell me. You're my wife. You can advise me. I, I would listen. Wait, so why, can't, why can't you just get her out of our lives? Why can't you get her out of our lives for good? Why? By get her up, but... You mean with what? We should turn her off? Come on, baby, no. Claudia isn't worth it. No, I won't let her make me a murderer. No, come on. And who's asking for murder? I don't want to be a murderer too. Please, can you just get that crazy ex-wife of yours out of our lives? I am married to you. And I want to live in my house in peace. I, that's understandable. This is hard for me too, baby. But you know I always take care of you. You know that I always come through for you. I'm here to protect you. All I ask is that you walk with me on this, all right? We're taking steps. Just be a bit more patient. And we'll solve this problem. Please. Please. I need some fresh air. I be bad egg, I agree. I feel do anything at all. Please, just 
Live us alone. Leave my wife and I alone. Just, just go home. Oh, Cynthia. Why are you sounding as though I am the one holding Millicent from doing something? She's a woman for crying out loud. And she's handling her family to the best of her ability. I do not mean to argue with you. But you know what I'm saying. Oh no, I do not. The same way this came as a root shock to you is the way it came to me. Claudia has refused to accept the fact that they are divorced. And this is causing a big problem in my friend's house. And that is where I expect you to come in. Yes. Come in? Exactly. How? Encourage your friend to deal with that woman. She's making life miserable for the poor woman in her matrimonial home. And that is wrong. Okay, Cynthia, can I correct an impression here? The way you handle situations are totally different from the way other people do. And Millicent is handling hers differently. Please, can we allow her run her family the way she wants to? Really? <laughs> she will wake up one morning to discover that her husband's head has thrown her out of the house and retained the man. And that will happen if she does not act fast. Okay? Well, my husband is on this. I also, can we please change the topic? It's okay. Really? You mean it? Dorothy, you know you needed to have it there. You needed to see her face. You know I have done this few times. I have never ever seen her face that petrified. Never, I've never been felt this proud of myself, trust me. <laughs> High five, girl. <laughs> you see, if you have started fighting this matter from the very first beginning like this, I bet you Clinton wouldn't have the guts to leave you for that opportunist. Dorothy, you know me, right? You know how calm and gentle I can be. I mean, I was just trying to settle things. Settle our differences. He wouldn't just wait. Boom! He goes to live with his mistress. Who does that? <laughs> and he expects me, Claudia, to just sit, fold my hands, and watch him disgrace me? No, my name is Claudia. <laughs> I can never allow that, come on. Baby girl, you know I always say this. No woman should take nonsense from any man. I mean, they are the pigs. And yet, they pretend to be the victims. Oh well. I refuse to be that woman who would walk over. I am no longer that naive and little girl he picked up from the village. Very good. I am not. You're not. I will torment him. I will not let him be until he throws that opportunist back to the street where she belongs. I will not rest. On a second thought, baby girl, in a situation where Clinton is unable to take it and decides to fight back, what are you going to do? Oh well, I'm supposed to be somewhere in next hour. And I should be leaving now. Hmm? Well, as for Clinton, he's my husband. And I know him too well. I shall know how to handle him. I trust you. All right. I'm waiting. I be bad egg, I grieve. I feel do anything at all. No, just stand on my way. I beg you, hold your hand, device. Oh, I love to raise dust. 
I love to see people in pain. I love to break people's hearts. Now me be happening, lady. With all due respect, Lene colleagues and friends, I am done waiting. Oh, something is definitely wrong with your client for keeping us here for hours. And I don't want to be a party to whatever nonsense it is. <clears throat> Mr. Kono, please, can we leave? Can we walk out? What is the problem with you, Claudia? You know this meeting was slated for 1 p.m. You said you are 10 minutes close to this place. Then why do we have to wait for, for over an hour? Why? Is Claudia not worth waiting for? Come on, uh, gentlemen, you need to learn how to treat a lady. Trust me. You are fashionably late, madam. You know, when you put it that way, I could accept. What is she doing here? Stan, what is she doing here? She's participating in this meeting. Given that she's the one that pulled you from the premise of your ex, after you've clearly been no reasonable doubt, violated the restraining order on you. Well, I do not want her here. You need to leave, Kate. I don't want you. Well, I'm sorry, madam. Both. Is the directive of the firm's CEO. I must be here. <laughs> this, is, this is unbelievable. If the ladies are done muffling whatever it is you have going on, can we actually get this meeting started? And of course, with your client tendering a befitting apology for keeping us here for hours. Excuse me? Apology? Yes. Apology for what exactly? Time is money. And in this profession, we keep to time. You kept us waiting here for hours. Oh. The least you should do is apologize without being reminded. Do you have to stick around this for too long? Do you have to do that? What am I even doing with these people? Why would I be seen around with these characters? Why? Um, guys, um, please, let's all um, settle down, um, get our acts together, and get to the reason we're all seated here, please. If you will, please. Hey, it's going to be fine. J just Calm down, okay? When? When is it going to be fine? When? Soon. Believe me, soon. All you need to do is stay strong. Hang in there for your husband. And do you think I haven't been doing that? But that's all I have been doing. I have, I have been trying to stay away from her. Pretend as if she doesn't exist, but that woman is just like a leech 
crawling all over. I know. Believe me, I I totally understand you. At least um she was my friend when when she got married to my husband's best friend. And I can tell you that she is totally annoying. But trust me, whatever she's doing, she's trying to get at you. She wants you to say or do something. Oh, and she has. Hasn't she? She has. I almost ruined her face. I was going to go all out to do something terrible to her. I, I would have been a murderer by now. But she did not. Sweetheart, your, your sweet and beautiful conscience wouldn't let you do that either. You, you did not. Mm. Ah. She called me a husband snatcher. A homebreaker. Tell me, do I look like one? Do I? No. Obviously, no. You did not steal anyone from her. I mean, Clinton came up to you at his own free will, got married to you. She is the one who ruined a happy home with Clinton, with her insatiable needs. Sweetheart, I am telling you, do not let him go. Because obviously we know Claudia, she's just a barking dog. Mm -hmm. I would have laughed at it if I did not firsthand see what she did to Clinton's life. She ruined him. She ruined him for the rest of the world. Come here. But you, you picked him up back again. You gave him love that he thought he would never have. You made life meaningful for him again. What else? Sweetheart, whatever Claudia does, it doesn't stop Clinton from being your husband. It will never change. Okay? Thank you. It's okay. <laughs> this is preposterous. Why would I have to pay such hefty fee? What for? Did I steal? Actually, you did more than stealing. Yes. You trespassed into my client's premises, traumatized his household, and... Oh, 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 oh. You mean his little hole? Look, madam, if you are smart, you will allow this meeting to proceed without any unnecessary delays. Yes, be reminded that this meeting is being digitally recorded and any uncourt language you employ here can drag you to the court of law. Yes, listen. I will not allow you people to intimidate me with your legal jargon. No way. Because I am well grounded. I know my right. My right? Mr. Sman. The man you all are trying to take away from me. But you know what? You all are joking. Because this, this will not work. Lady Claudia, you think this is a joke? We are way past moonlight time, Lady Claudia. You oh, you, 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 you. You just shut up. You know what's good for you, cockroach? Keep quiet. Shut up. Please, I want to hear people with mouths, with a nose, ears. Even when I know they are not making any sense. You know I could see you for your words, Mr. Benna. You better think before you speak. Point of correction. My name is Claudia Pierce. And you have no right to advise a lady of my course. Right? With all due respect, Lady Claudia, would you allow us to do our job? Or do you want to make yourself your own legal counsel? Fine, that's what we want. 
my learned colleague and I have a better place to be. Yeah, that's it. Um, <clears throat> I'm very sorry. I think I can contain her for now. Eight million naira for damages. I think that is far too much. I mean, she didn't destroy anything in that premises. All she did was to rant and yell. Please. Rant and yell. Just rant and yell. She traumatized my wife. My wife has been traumatized since yesterday. You think it's normal? Um, um, Mr. Connor, please calm down. Well, I am okay. very, very calm. Sir. Oh, we, we just calm down. Okay. I'm calm, sir. I'm very calm. I'll have you know that your client here did this deliberately. Oh, she's been doing this to me. But this time around, she targeted my wife just to hurt me. Claudia, what do you want from me? I ask you because I am certain that somewhere in the laws of this country, there is a provision for how we treat people with mental imbalance. What do you want from me? Mr. Kuno, please calm down. No, 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 no. It's, it's fine. Listen. I want one thing. Just one thing. Stay away from me. Stay away from my wife. Stay away from my household. I had to all the times imbued in the restricting order. Because I cannot promise you that the next time you come to my home without my consent, that your body will not be dragged out without a bullet in the middle of your head. Whoa! So rich coming from you, Clinton. I never knew you, you have such balls. Clinton! Stan, did you hear that? He said he would kill me. Did you hear that? That's not what he meant. And what does he mean? I clearly heard him. I heard him clearly bullet. Bullet that clearly comes with a gun. A gun that can actually kill. So what are you saying? Listen, he, he did say that, but he doesn't mean it. He's clearly angry. I was angry too. We toyed together. We built our success together. And after that, what did he do? He threw me out. Out to go be with that, to that cult. What? What did you say? Mr. Connor, please. Did you just call my wife a cult? You heard me. Would you do? Please. You call my wife a cult? What would you do? Clinton. You call my wife a cult? would you do? I did. Tell your client to be guided. Please. Tell your client to be guided. I will. You know what? I'm done with all of this. The next time, You cross my path and come by my home. You are going to face full prosecution. I am done trying to fix this out of court. I'm out of here. No, just stand on my way. I beg you, hold your hand, device. Do you know what? Hey, excuse me. You see that man? That man is the best. And I, Claudia, I must be with the best. So get to work and know what to do. No, just stand on my way. I 
beg you hold your hand device oh. I love to raise dust I love to see people in pain I love to break people hearts. Oh, you take good care of yourself okay. she's crazy she's literally crazy I've done everything you've asked me to do to stay away from her but she won't let me be. You need to calm down. You see, what I see here is a psychological warfare aimed at making you to lose your cool and probably do something outrageous. And by then, you would have lost and she would have succeeded. You see, you don't have to play into, his, into her hands. You, should, you need to be calm. Ignore her. I'm as calm as I can be. But this nonsense has to stop. You know she wouldn't do anything right. What do you mean she wouldn't do anything? She had a plan in her head, followed through. Made attempts at actualizing it. You know, telling me that she's not evil. What are you saying, Joe? If I were you, I wouldn't put anything past that woman. I understand you. Look, I assure you, we are doing everything within our power to get that woman out of your head. But you must ignore her. She's already out of my life. I just want you to make sure that it remains that way. You know it wouldn't have been possible if you two had a child together. Oh, well, thank goodness we don't have a kid together. Now, I want you to do your job. I don't pay you every month to advise me. Do your damn job. Cage that woman. Trust me, I'm working. If you have to apply the law to cage her so that she can stay out of my space, do so. Trust me, I'm working on it. Thank you. Have you seen it? Oh, that lady is something else. <laughs> Honestly, I'm going to take care of her my way. Okay? Don't worry, I'll take care of that my way. <sighs> well, can someone just tell me the implications of what just happened? Uh, we might not be presenting it from the angle of legal implications. But I think Mr. Okono is done trying negotiations with you. <laughs> like he wants to take me to court? Like he did three years ago? Is, isn't that enough? I'm sorry, madam, but you know. But nothing. Would you please do me a favor, young lady? Shut your mouth and leave here. <clears throat> did, did you just say that to me? Ayon, who are you? Who are you? Would you just shut your mouth and leave this place? Because I want to talk to people who are learned. I understand the application of the rules of justice. Please. A day is coming that I will remind you of the rules of justice. I will. I'm out of here. I will. Stan? I saw the way that her of a lawyer looked at you before she left. What is going on between the both of you? That's none of your business. I've told you not to dumble into my personal affairs. <laughs> Stan, I think I pay you well enough to know what's going on in that your private life. You know how I am, right? Claudia, this is my office. The last thing I need now is scandal. <laughs> scandal? Like you care? Yes, I actually care a lot. Come on, young lady. How did you, how did you get here from talking about your ex-husband trying to see your ass for obvious reasons? We are here talking about how to scream it in my office. Mm -hmm. Please. That's unprofessional. I am just a lady. 
trying to exclude myself from this from this professional bullshit. I, I just want to do what I like and get away with everything. Yes. Okay, um <clears throat> at least can go to a hotel. Yeah, you can check into a room, I'll check into another room. <laughs> there we can connect on our own. <laughs> Go to a hotel <laughs> when I can do whatsoever that I want to do right here and now. If I stand, I want it here and now because I know you cover my ass. Claudia. Claudia. Stand, listen. I do not want her on my case anymore. She's actually good with her work. That's why she's the only spare representative assigned to your case. I do not care how you do it, but I am saying I do not want her on my case. I don't want her. You know very well that I'm just an employee. I'm not a partner here, meaning I don't have the jurisdiction to decide who is assigned to which case and when. I'm afraid you just have to stick with her. You have no choice. <laughs> of course I do. And I will make sure of that. <sighs> Claudia, can we please not go into this? Please. And, and I need to even ask you this. If a client is not comfortable with the way her representative is handling things. She has the right to complain, right? I, I, I remember that is a policy of your company. I will not forget that in a hurry. So what are you saying? Claudia, you and I know this very well. We know this very well. She's very, very good. Come on. Why you, why, why, why you dragging it like this? Why? Oh, son. Don't worry. I will make sure you sit on my case. Have a nice one. This lady is just a bitch. I just wonder who have her as a wife. I don't care, I don't care what they say. Anyhow I want, I go live my life. I go for what I want. Anyhow, anytime, anywhere. Does it mean you're jobless or what? Okay, don't tell me you've been standing here all this time. For what exactly? Madam. Do not pinch things against people working for you as your saviors. Only fools do that. And who is my savior? You? Be very careful with me, all right? I be bad egg, I grieve. I fi do anything at all. No, just stand on my way. I beg you, hold your hand. Why is she not helping herself? I love to raise dust. I love to. Hi. Hi, Kate. <laughs> How are you doing? Uh, I'm good. Uh, just. Uh... It's okay. You know, it's totally okay for you to admit how exhaustively pain in the house that woman can be. I mean, it's okay. Nobody can hold you to that. Because it's thrilling for me. You know, she can be a handful. Handful, eh? <laughs> By the way, what was she doing here for so long? We actually had a long discussion. A lot of things came up. Yeah. <laughs> that lady, no matter how stupid she is, she's still my client. Do you think it's right for you to discuss extensively with my client in my absence. Do you think it's the right thing to do? Claudia, um, I think she's, um, um, 
she's not just actually happy with your blood nerves and irresistible, undeniable, um, defiant nature. She feels you need to stick with her, even when you don't have to agree with it. Uh -huh. So she does not want me questioning her actions. <laughs> it won't happen. It will not happen. Okay, fine. If that's how she wants it, she has to understand that she's making it far too difficult for us representing her. Besides, just because I have to defend a crook and seek action sometimes doesn't necessarily mean that I agree with everything she does. Yeah, I know. I know. No, you don't. You don't see anything wrong with what she does. Probably because you don't want to lose the best lawyer of the year this firm has ever had. But not me. Not me. I am not blind to the truth, no matter how crooked and twisted I have to make it, just to make sure she walks out of there as a victim and not as a pulpit. She will surely send me to prison if she finds out what we just did in the office now. Be bad egg, I agree. I feel do anything at all. No, just stand on my way. I beg you, hold your hand, device. So oh, I love to rest. That man is just so impossible. So he no longer wants simple dialogue and negotiations. Hmm. Hmm. What does he think? That I will be threatened by this and stop trying to, to, to gain what rightfully is mine? No way. No way in hell because he is mine. Mine forever. And it's just going to be a matter of time before he will come back crawling back to me. I promise him that. Hmm. Oh, 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 yes, I remember you. I noticed how your woman was staring at me. Oh, well, I love to punish such women that are so insecure. Very nice, my darling. I will save this number, then call you later and fix an appointment. I just want to let you know that I like you. Thank you. I'll see you later. Bye. Hey baby. Hello, my desire. How you doing? I'm good. And you? Well, I'm just with my main man, Clint. You wanna say hi? I know you are. Tell him he'll be fine. Um, Millicent just had lunch. She's exhausted, so she's resting. Wow. Wait, I need to tell you something. Do you know that I love you so much? Do one thing for me. Take your friend out. Um, get him to loosen up. Let him stop beating himself up. Whatever happened is not his fault. Millicent will do the same, so she's gonna pick up. Everything is, is going to be fine, okay? Baby, you never cease to amaze me. 
How come everything that seems so hard, it just makes it so easy? Mm-hmm. And that is why you love me, huh? You see, let me tell you something. That is just one. I love you so much. In so diff in so many different ways, I love you. But for this man, you are the bomb, I must tell you. Mm, thank you, baby. I love you too. And go have fun. Hey, make sure you don't come home smelling alcohol. You know what I'll do to you? <laughs> babe, you know I wouldn't even dare do such a thing. I know what you want. I don't want to get you this tonight. You know tonight and night now. Thank you for saying that. You always have your way to my heart. <laughs> okay, baby. Catch you later. <laughs> I love you, sunshine. Okay. You just keep being pretty, keep being sweet, and I'll meet you at home. Okay? Okay. Bye. Bye. How's your woman? Very well, very well. See, guy, calm down. Huh? Stop beating yourself about this issue. Everything's going to be fine. Uh, uh, I hope so. Because I'm worried. You know, sometimes I just uh, feel that the next time it happens, she may just decide to give up and just bolt on me. Because I don't know how long she's going to deal with this. She won't. See, guy, that girl loves you so much and to leave you hanging, she wouldn't do that. I know she loves me, but everyone has their stretch limits, you know? Dude, see, if there's anyone is going to be merely wrong, it's her one, not Claudia. It's going to be your mother, the almighty O'Connor. Remember when she blatantly to refuse her because she wasn't better than your ex? Yeah, 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 I remember. And she needed time for you to recover. If she did not actually run at that time, why she ran? Who makes you think she's going to run now? I hope you're right. You know, you know, the past few nights are really the first time that I've had her with me, but still didn't have her. If you know what that means, she does not deserve all of this. Yeah, you don't deserve it either. Please believe me, everything is going to be fine. I'll show you. Okay. <laughs> See, now let's take this down the road, okay? Let's just squash it down the road, please. Ah, no, 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 no. Not, not, not today. No. Okay. See, I'm going home. No, no, no. Don't even bring that attitude. Don't bring it. You had what Dana said. You had her over the phone. She said she needed time to wrap her mind up over this issue. Guy, see, you look unwell now. I, I, I don't like the way you're sounding. You're my friend, you're my man. You can't be looking like this. <laughs> you, you're fine. strong. Let me. Bro, let's go and quanta some bottles. Ah. No, just stand on my way. I beg you, hold your hand, device. Oh. I love to raise dust. I love to see people in pain. I love to break. Ooh. Hey, baby. Oh. Hi. Hey, babe, I didn't think you'd still be awake at this time. Oh, I was actually waiting up for you. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Uh, Dana told me you and Joshua went out for drinks, so I thought yeah. maybe. You know what? Um, I'll fix you something to eat. No, no, it's okay. That's not necessary. I'm not, I'm not really hungry. Are I you sure? Go. Oh, yeah, I'm fine, baby. I made your favorite. I can. Are you sure? How are you holding up? Listen, baby. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. With you, I don't know what to expect these days when I when I come home. 
but I can understand. I know that sometimes you really want to be by yourself. Please, baby. I, I just want you to know that I am here for you. Please, do not push me away. Babe. Baby. Is everything okay, babe? What's the matter now? Come on. What, are you hurt? Are you sure? Ah, what is it? Talk to me. What is it? What is it? Talk to me, baby. Come on. What is it? Ah. And I'm sorry. I am so, so sorry. I was mad at you when none of this was your fault. There is no way you would have wanted this. There's no way you would have prayed for any of this to happen to you. I'm sorry. I should have been more supportive, more loving, more caring, more, more everything. I failed you. Oh no, you did not. Yes, I did. No, baby, come on, don't talk like that. You have not feelings. But I did. Baby. Please, just because you refuse to say it doesn't make me a saint. Yes. I was sad and mad about everything. But treating you like you invited this into our home. Forgive me. Please. Please. I love you, Millicent. But every part of me. I love you. With all of my heart. I know that this is hard for you. But you can get angry if you want. No one is going to blame you for this. It's not your fault. You didn't come into marriage expecting for things to turn out this way, baby. Come on. I just want you to know that I give you my word today to work very hard to ensure that things get back to normal the way it's meant to be. I'll do everything, baby, to give you the happiness that I promised you when you agreed to be my wife. I love you and nothing would ever change that. forgotten about me. That's not really nice. Jane, I'm so sorry. There's this new business I'm trying my hands on. It's been taking so much of my time. <sighs> Besides that, I've been coming here to make my hair and all. You're the one that's not been around. Oh, really? Yes. I'm so sorry. I've been extremely busy. Mm. Gosh, you know. <laughs> you know how much I love money. Yes, we all do. <laughs> <laughs> I love this hair. Thank I remember you. I sold it to you. Mm -hmm. mm. You did? <laughs> Please, I hope you got something from me from your last trip because I won't take no for an answer. Of course, I wouldn't fail because I love money and okay. you know it. I need you to give me that money. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I got this nice package for you and Claudia. Wow. Trust me, you're going to love it. 
Bring it up. Hold up. Bring it. Hurry up. <laughs> I got you, baby girl. So nice to see you. I know, me too. Oh my god, I'm so happy. It's all good. Okay. Hey, Abigail, quick one. Could you please come here now? Yeah, I need you. Thank you. Oh my god, that's so crazy. Like, I know. I didn't expect you to get to that extent. <laughs> Well, uh, I must say I am, I'm not disappointed. <laughs> you sure know how to, you know how to give it out, now to just hit it hard. <laughs> Thanks for coming, darling. Well, I'll take that as a compliment. I am really grateful to you for having me. You are by every standard a woman of a standing class. And I consider it a privilege being with you. Well, if not because I... I'm going somewhere the next one I have an appointment. I won't have let you go, darling. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Do not disrupt your schedule because of me. You know what? I will let you prepare for your appointment. But I'll sure keep in touch. Very good. <laughs> Come here. <sighs> Do not think about me so much. I love to raise dust. I love to see people in pain. I love to break people. <laughs> she did that again? Yes, you, my sister. I feel for that poor girl. <gasps> I mean, what was she thinking when she agreed to marry that man? Like any girl who is over heels in love. I mean, what is it with Claudia? She's the one who left the guy in the first place. Not willingly. Oh, really? But she played a huge part in making him break things with her. Yes, you're right. Oh, come on. The fact that she messed up a few times doesn't give him the right to throw out like one garbage. They had marital vows, remember? Yes, vows that she shouldn't have violated in the first place. <sighs> Dorothy, why are you not seeing anything wrong in this? Why? Oh, me? Yes, you! What's my business? She's an adult, a grown woman. She should be able to take care of herself. And that includes literally turning her ex's life into a nightmare. Really? She's our friend. We should be talking to her about things like this. I mean, why are you not talking her out on her sheets? Why? Mm. The last time I checked, where has your talking to her gotten you? <sighs> You've fallen out with her more times than I can count. <sighs> Please, I don't want to be in your shoes. You know she has money. Mm -hmm. She's ready to give and to flaunt it. I mean, I'm not going to give anybody advice so because I don't want to miss out on those goodies. The fact that she has money doesn't mean we shouldn't talk to her about things like this. We should talk to her when it's necessary. Come on now, Dorothy. This is not right. And you know it. Um, Jane, you can do the talking. I am not interested. And I'm not ready to advise anyone. Let me warn you. If you continue like this, I'll be forced to stop coming here. What's wrong with you? Dorothy, listen, I, I didn't mean to sound this way, okay? You know how blunt I can be when it has to do with the truth? Mm. Please now, don't tell me you want to stop coming here. Do you want to kill me, eh? Jen, let me advise you. Whenever you're around Claudia, zip up your mouth. <sighs> it's not gonna be easy, but I'll try. Kate. I need to hear this from you. Is there any particular reason I'm being put off that woman's case? What did I do? What? what are you saying? Oh, come on, Stan. Don't make me look stupid and dumb at the same time. For Christ's sake, I was the first assigned to this case before you even come on board. This case, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know about this. Well, 
I'm just coming from Daniel's office. He said he's putting me off the case, assigning Tony and I to the newest case on ground. Tell me you're just hearing that for the first time. Look at me stand and tell me you're just hearing it for the first time. Okay. In my defense, I did tell her there wouldn't be any reason for her to stretch it to such extreme. You're actually good at what you do. Exactly. So she told you that, huh? Actually, she complained. I thought she was just being hard on myself. You, you, you know the, you know the matters concerning Claudia? I never knew she, she could shred this matter to this extent. I'm sorry. So sorry. Uh, if I had known, I should have warned you. Please. No. No need. <laughs> Actually, I'm... I'm very happy. So made for conscious decision to get me off. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, Stan. You know I love my job. I could die for it. I mean, I love defending people, good and bad alike. But that woman, that woman, she's so impossible. Always looking for fight or cuss about. You know, during our divorce trial, I barely resisted the hush to tell her to go to hell and let that man be. Because everything she got, she deserves it, even worse. She oh. deserves it. Oh, really? Seriously. Uh. You know, sometimes I wonder how <sighs> such a man got entangled with a bitch like that. How would I know? Maybe he was in love with her at some point. Hmm. I made your bitch right now. <laughs> Anyways, I'm here to invite you for dinner. Mm. Yes, I am going to celebrate this. Finally, that woman is off my neck. How was that look? <laughs> Come on, Stan. Don't you dare stand me up. Well, I know it's been a while since we had something to do together. And um, I'm beginning to feel that this job is making me lose my land. How does that make me look? You sound more of AJ Law's girlfriend. Perfect. A good girlfriend always looking up for a <laughs> man. <laughs> okay, finish up. You know I love you. Did you hear me? I love you. I love you. Did you hear me? I love you. Love you too. Okay. If you have a day with Claudia in our time, how am I going to fix this? You're my love, my faith, my happiness. You're everything I need. You're my love, my faith, my heart. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? Let me check out my wife. Mm. Yeah, right. besides something nice. Smells here. What's going on? <laughs> well, you know, this it's nothing. I'm just experimenting with new spices, you mm. know, just a different way to cook rice. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. See, this is one of the many reasons I say that you are the best. Huh? For a very good wife, always finds different ways to make her husband happy. You know what I'm saying? Yes, and a good husband does the same. But I've been trying. Mm. I, I'm trying. Your happiness is my business. <laughs> and I promise you that I'll never disappoint you, right? Mm -hmm. Thanks for the kind words, babe. Now, go and get ready and allow the lady to do her thing. But what if I choose not to go? Babe? Yeah. You told me you had an appointment. Oh, yeah. I remember I said that, but it's not here as beautiful as, you know, having a moment with your woman. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I agree. You can take one here. <laughs> Dave, go and get ready. Okay, I'll set the table. Okay, go. Let's do it. Go. My food was bored. Go. Oh, 
Thank you, baby. Thank you. You're welcome. This tastes different. I like it. You told me you were going to experiment, yeah? So it's it's really nice. It's it's spicy. And I like spice. I'm telling you. Okay. I like spice. And then I think the addition of um, garlic and ginger will be a different feel. I, I think we should stick this, to this for now. It's, it's different. It's different. It's good to know you like it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then when you make those very, very beautiful African cuisines, you know, just to pay attention to detail. Like, you know, I like food. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I love food. But seriously, you don't want to try. No, I'm fine. Why? Right, because you're dieting. Exactly. <laughs> so you're, you're vain. Yeah, what a... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to Hey, Mike. <laughs> I'm good. How is the beautiful bouncing baby girl doing? No. Uh, uh, Mike, Mike, calm, calm down, Mike. Calm down. Don't panic. I know, I know, I know. But try, try, try not to panic. Try. I'll cancel my meeting for the day. I'll, I'll just be with you. All right, just take it easy. I'll be there in a bit. I'll be there in... Yes. Okay. And details when I get... Okay, fine. What is it? I don't know. It was, it was all hysterical over the phone. Couldn't even tell me what was panicking. So when I get there, probably know what the problem is. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't carry on. I have to go. Okay. It's, it's okay. I'll call you, all right? Yeah. yeah. But you told me you have a night shift, right? Yes, but I'm not leaving until you get back. It's fine. Be safe. Be safe. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. You're my love, my fate, my happiness. You're everything. You know, the thing is, I became so suspicious of the whole issue, so I decided to investigate it. Only then did I realize the notice did not come from the landlord. Even the, the agent in charge of this estate, he confirmed it. Now, my man, this is not making sense to me. Eh? It's not. So you mean the landlord is not the one that issued this notice? Eh? So who did? That is the issue. That is the issue. This, uh, this agent, Mr. Mike, he called not long ago and told me that some tenants have paid already, can you imagine? I can't pay that, that amount of money. How could you say something like that? The truth is that 80% of these tenants have actually paid, Why others have paid in something just to avoid being thrown out. No, boy. Too many things are coming into my head. What if all this thing is just a, a, a scam? That is a very big question, and that is where the landlord must come in. He has to really come into this. He stands the risk of losing his estate. Someone can just come up now and set the estate on fire out of anger. Now, guys, stop talking like this now. Eh? Have conscience now. How can you say somebody's investment are blazed over just how much? It doesn't make sense now. Eh? Guy, man, don't provoke me for here. Man, don't provoke me with that kind of stupid comment. At the best, yeah, you see me so. Eh? Over how much now? Oh, but even if it is a dime, that is someone's investment. There's so much money. Men are calm down. See the worrying and say, just calm down, babe. Just calm down. Can you move to the doctor? Nah, I don't know. That's how you put. Tom, it is hard. I can't think of anyone else. It's bloody. And why would she do a thing like this? Going to different properties you own, claiming joint ownership with threats of evicting the tenants if they don't comply. That girl is crazy. Hence the reason my friend ran for his dear life. You separated from her. You divorced her. And you paid early money. I did everything. 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 That girl just has a way of drilling me. Seriously. See, she should have been severely dealt with when she did this mess at first. Gosh, I feel so irritated because I even introduced her to you. And I am the one who married her, Josh. So this is not on you, please. So what do we do? You don't know what to do? You can't explain all this? You know what? That's it. I'm done dealing with this the easy way. I'll handle this problem. I love to see people in pain. 
I love to break people's hearts. So. Now me be happy on the radio. Yeah, but so bad. Yes. What are you doing here? Babe, what's going on? I've been calling your line, you've refused to pick your call. I don't understand. Explain to me. And in your stupidity, you decided to show up here? Are you stupid or something? Babe, I don't understand. Why are you sounding like this? Why are you talking to me like this, my love? It's me. What did you just call me? Your love? Did you just call me your love? Now listen. And listen carefully. Don't ever think I have anything to do with you. Do I make myself clear? I used you when I wanted you. And if I need you next time, my darling, I will come for you. Don't ever show up here. Else, I will treat you as an intruder. It's me you're talking to. It's Dino. Claudia, is Dino the... Gosh. Claudia! God. Claudia, it's me, Dino! Now me be happening, What kind of a woman is this? Wait, did she just dump me? This is a criminal offense, which you could go in for. But, are you sure she is the one? I see no one else being that stupid and callous. To go this far, it is Claudia. I'm certain. That, you, you know, we need to be very careful dealing with her. Because the few times I've encountered her, she's not just dangerously smart. But she's too corny as well. No, I don't care. I don't care. That girl keeps drilling me. And enough is enough. What do you want me to do? I left her with everything that she wanted after the divorce. Why does she keep meddling in my private life? Why? Sit back. I keep taking bullets from her all my life. Is that what you're saying as my legal counsel? Okay. Okay. I know you want to go to court. Yeah, trust me. And I can't say you can't. But I still believe exploring all the avenues will do us a lot of good. Yeah. Think about your reputation. Huh. It could get dragged into this. And that would surely affect your business. Think about it. I love to raise dust. I love to see people in pains. I love to break people's hearts. Now me be happening, lady. How much money was paid into that account? About seven million. Some tenants, out of fear, went and paid up. According to the accountant, 4.5 million has been withdrawn into an unknown account. Which undoubtedly should belong to her. I just hope and pray that account is being blocked. Yes. The problem is not just the money, but how to compensate those tenants who urgently went and paid up out of fear of threatened eviction. It wasn't their fault. Oh, come on. Partially it's their fault. For crying out loud, how can they go in there and pay into a different account which is not the normal account they usually used to? You know, Barrister, fright of eviction, fright of being thrown into the streets can make anyone do anything. Barrister, this is a fraudulent act and it's a crime. 
she should not go scot free. You know, uh, um, what I'm saying is that we should try as much as possible not to wash Mr. Kono's dirty linens outside. Um, I, I think I see what um, the barrister is trying to say. Um, as much as we are offended, we have to be careful. If we do not apply wisdom, we are going to have some major trust issues in future with our business partners and investors. So what I'd like for you to do, Mike, is to drop <clears throat> a proper tenancy agreement with some strict such rules attached to it and um, please attend to Joe to, to sign off on all of them. They will present to the tenants. As for those who <clears throat> are afraid of eviction paid into that account, I can personally inform them. Unless, of course, the both of you would like to work out a plan um, where the said amounts can be deducted from the existing rent if they so wish. But that's the direction I think we should go for now. Guys. Okay. Oh, Jesus. I love to see people in pain. I love to break people's hearts. Now maybe half one in lady. Why is he not taking his calls? Okay. Um, a text would uh, send a text message. Yes, Joe. Hey, man. Uh, it's Joe. Speak. I just got off the phone with the DPO. Nothing. She's been out of the country. The last money in her account before she left remained the same as she already booked and took the necessary amount she needed for her trip. Nothing seems off about her. <sighs> this can only mean one thing. Claudia gave someone an instruction to carry out this act because I find it personally hard to believe that my tenants would readily jump out of their skin, you know, out of panic to, to pay way more than they are required to do in less than a year of paying the actual rent. It's hard to swallow. They said you were insistent that it was important and... And, and what, Joe? Joe, you know me. I run a business that gives me millions. So why would I want to insist that my tenants give me money before I can do other businesses and then make investments? It does not add up. Actually, I thought about that too. There wasn't more to add to it. What do you want to do? You want an intensive investigation into this or what? You know what, um, Joe? We'll keep this on the low for now. Alright? This cannot come out. Well, I will do my best. Thank you. Asking me personal questions. Listen, listen. I don't like men that ask me questions. <sighs> we came here to have fun. Why don't we continue from from where we stopped? Huh? I apologize if you feel like I'm getting too personal, but I'm just concerned as a friend. Well, I see it somehow. You know, I see you as a man more dead in the caliber of my husband. 
a man that wants to box a lady to one corner where she will completely be useless. I, I, I don't like that. I don't, I don't, I don't like it at all. Listen, I agreed to have stuffs with you because I knew you were divorced. Did you get married again and I didn't know about it for you to be making reference to my husband? Point of correction. Clinton is my husband. And he will still be my husband. And that it will remain till that do as well. You know, at this point, I, 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 this minute I think I know you the next minute it will dawn on me that I do not even know you at all. Why don't you concentrate on knowing yourself more? And quit trying to know me. Because I am an enigma. And nobody. Nobody can ever understand me, Claudia. Good evening, sirs. Welcome to Reese Hotel. How may I help you? Thank you very much. We're here to meet with a friend from CISO Trade. The guy is the name. Just a moment, please. Yes. Eloma, there are men here to see you. All right, tell my men, let them in. Okay, okay. Thank you. <sighs> you may go up now. First room by your left. Thank you very much. Bye. My men are coming to deliver money to me. So do me a favor and hide in the restroom. I love to see people in pain. I love to break people hearts. Now maybe half one in Legio. Hey, Mike. <laughs> I'm good. How is the beautiful bouncing baby girl doing? No. Uh, uh, Mike, Mike, come. Calm down, Mike. Calm down. Don't panic. I know, I know, I know. But try, try, try not to panic. Try. I'll cancel my meeting for the day. I'll, I'll just be with you. All right, just take it easy. I'll be there in a bit. I'll be there. Yes. Okay. And details when I get. Okay. Fine. Yeah. What is know. it? I don't know. It was, it was, it was all hysterical over the phone. Couldn't even tell me what was panicking. So when I get there, probably know what the problem is. I'm sorry, I can't. I can't carry on. I have to go. Okay. It's, it's okay. I'll call you. All right. Yeah. Yeah, but you told me you have a night shift, right? Yes, but I'm not leaving until you get back. It's fine. Be safe. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. You're my love, my faith, my happiness. You're everything. Decided to just, you know, catch a quick nap, and this is me. 
I'm sorry, I'm sorry, baby. It's fine, I can see you're tired. I am tired. Yesterday was a very. Yesterday was crazy, as a matter of fact. I was very crazy, but how are you? you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. Oh. You should probably go take a shower while mm -hmm. I make you breakfast. Make what? No, come on, it's okay. I'll fix something for myself. I mean, you've been working, you've been on your feet all night. I've been sleeping, I can take care of that. Mm -mm. I know you can, I insist. Okay? So, go take a shower or let me get something to eat. Besides, I need to be sure that you're healthy. Considering the fact that you've been under pressure. Yeah, that's true, but I, regardless, I think I can do this. I can handle this. I said no. Okay. So go take a shower. <laughs> it's fine. Thank Good. you, baby. Ah. You're my love, my fate, my happiness. You're everything I need. You're my love, my fate, my happiness. You're So you're saying we're short of 7.6 million there? Eh? Oh yes. Uh, last time we checked that account, that's the exact amount we had there. Uh, no dime was, was missing and suddenly, pff, from nowhere, it was totally wiped out. We can't even trace it. Yeah. And you think she's the one? Oh yes, of course. It has to be Claudia. She's the only one with the motivation to be that mischievous. But... Look at it this way, darling. It's not possible that I rob my tenants now, is it? And I can't also steal from myself. So who else? But you haven't got a confession from her yet. It's Claudia, baby. Come on. She's a sociopath. She's the only sociopath that I know. I know all of this brings me... to begin to question why she's doing all of this to me. Because I remember clearly, during the divorce settlement, I was nice to her. I gave her everything that she would possibly need. I left her with enough money to cater to her needs. I, jewelry, cars, I even left the house for her. So why is she doing this to me? I don't know. I mean, I have never met someone with a messed up and twisted mind like Claudia. Mm -hmm. I got myself into this mess. If I hadn't married her in the first place, I wouldn't be going through all of this today. No, no, babe. Babe, don't talk like that. It's not your fault. You can't blame yourself. You couldn't have predicted the future. I mean, how were you supposed to know that she was going to turn out this way during marriage? Please, don't blame yourself. You didn't make her the way she became. She chose that way. Okay? That's right, babe. So tell me, how is the police handling it? Oh, well, they're handling it close enough. Uh, we're trying to keep it on the low so it doesn't become um, public knowledge. So it doesn't affect my business. You know, I work with a lot of investors. Uh, but the last update I got from the police is that they are keeping a trace on her. You know, so that way, um, they know exactly what she's doing at every given time, her activities, her movement. Maybe that way we also get to understand why she did it, or how she even did it. And possibly where the money is as we speak. It's okay. Everything will be fine, okay? Everything will turn out okay. And I want you to know that I'll always be here for you. You've got me, okay? I know, baby. Thank you. You're welcome. 
So let me know whenever you need any other thing. I'll remember that. It's fine. <laughs> Can I do it? I... Is anything the matter? I get that you are a graduate. Yes, I am. So how come you're not working? Obviously, I'm a graduate and... I'm working. As a matter of fact, I work here. Oh, come on, Kenneth, don't tell me that. <laughs> Is this the kind of job a graduate should be doing? Well, the condition of the country hasn't given anyone the space to start considering the quality of the jobs. <laughs> anyone could do anything to survive. Really? Yes. Am I missing anything? Well, I'll, I'll see you later then. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Dali? Did I miss anything? I see you have a new one. So, what happened to Zora? He's hot. Mm. He's sexy. Mm -hmm. He's single. And most importantly, he's available. So, what's wrong with starting from it? And you laid him off. Really? <laughs> Sweetheart, you know me too well. I don't do men twice. Uh, I don't accept on rare occasions. Well, oh, don't forget his hotness. It's not even good in better. Oh. To lay him off. Claudia. Claudia. It is what it is. I love to see people in pain. <laughs> I love to break people's hearts. Now maybe half. Does it mean you're dumb or what? How many of your numbers do I have to block before you leave me alone? Hmm? Why are you not getting it? I, I mean no harm. Look, all I want from you is a little space. Space so I can prove it. Look, you are the most beautiful woman I have set my eyes on. And I mean it. Allow me. Just give me space. Let me prove to you that I'm a woman killer. Listen, I'm a married woman. So take your woman killer nonsense elsewhere and leave me alone. <laughs> I understand, I understand. Why are you sounding like this? Look. Closeness is the only thing interest. Look, all I ask for is just, is just a space. Let me make you develop interest in this. Okay, trust me, you'll love this. Hmm? I'm going to block your number right now. And if you ever call me with another number, I promise you that I am going to make a formal report to the police. And trust me, no matter where you are, I will find you and make sure that you face the full rot of the law. Nonsense. I love to see people in pain. I love to break people's hearts. Now maybe half one in Legio. Oh, yeah, what's over? Yeah, what's over? You know, I, I am, I am battling the, the, the thought that Classless Dorothy is planning to sleep with my housekeeper. And here you are. Here you are talking about my husband. What is wrong with you girls? What is just wrong with you girls? What is wrong? Do me a favor, Claudia. Face the issue and stop resorting to sentiments. What issue? You are playing with that guy's life and everything. I mean, you literally broke him. He managed to pull through. And now you are adding frustration to it. Have you stopped for a second to ask yourself a question? What if he's the one doing this to you? No, no, Madam Judge, please, can you just stop? Can you stop? Who asked you for your opinion? If I needed your opinion, I would have asked for it. Oh, really? After all, your opinion has done me no good. What you are doing is not fair. What you are doing to that young man and his wife is not fair and definitely not to you. Are you sick? Jane, are you sick or what? I have told
told you never to question me on what is good for me or not in my personal life. I am not trying to dictate how you live your life, Claudia. I am only consigned for you because you are ruling your life and the life of others with its unquenchable obsessions. Why can't you be happy for me for once? Hmm? Why can't you? Because I am your friend and you are ruining your life if you keep up with this. What do you expect me to do? Like I should support you or I should clap for you? Is that what you expect me to do? So you're now a set to judge me. Chen Yu, sent to judge me? Well, you don't know anything about marriage because you have never been married before. Excuse oh, me? Yes. You don't know what it means to be married to a man for so many years. And all of a sudden, he wakes up. To tell you that he's no longer interested in you. He doesn't want the marriage anymore. You don't know how it feels. Jen, you don't. It's fine. I am not going to sit back here and watch you judge my personal life. You know nothing about me. Excuse me. <laughs> well. You are not my problem, Jane. Dirty is actually my problem. Charles? Just, you know, I am so surprised that you have not been able to get that classless girl. I am trying my best. But the problem is that she doesn't want to see me face to face. Each time I try to call her, she blocks my number immediately. Then up your game. Shells up your game. Mm. Even if it means going to her house, do that. Take her to a very quiet place. Take good pictures. I mean, I need evidence. I need something to throw that girl out of that house. That's all I need. I know the plan already. <clears throat> I do. But I'm trying my best. But going to a house is quite risky. <laughs> she might even call the police on me. <laughs> Charles. Charles then use all your experience that you've gathered all these years and come up with something. <laughs> Listen, I am not going to say much. I would not. But if you do this, Charles, if you do this, I will change your life. I love to break people's hearts so. Now maybe happening, lady. Ya Patoba. No boss. What? Oh <laughs> I'm a terrible player. Watch me. Watch me do this. <laughs> Just watch me. Woo! Haka! Unbelievable! <laughs> What's going on? If I don't get this, then I have to go back to my village. <laughs> So shocked when Josh first told me about that. So it's true then. Hmm. Well, darling, <laughs> it is very true. I mean, that woman, something must be wrong with her. But then I'm sorry, I know she's your friend, but she's just impossible. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. In the real sense of the word, she is not my friend. 
At least, not anymore. Ah. <laughs> so, so, so you're one of those people. Hmm? One of those people that would just neglect their friends in times of need. Hmm? You know I'm not such a person, Millicent. I'm not. I always stick around my friends. But not this one. This one is silly and annoying. And I can survive with one less friend, which is her. Uh, you're crazy. No. <laughs> no. But seriously, you know, she's actually not my friend. She was introduced to me when she was dating and eventually married Joshua's best friend. Mm. She's not. Mm. Okay, you say so. <laughs> I say so. Told you. <laughs> Can't play. Nice one. Ah, babe. Back to our discussion. You know what I really wanted to ask you. You told me you had this new place where you shop for groceries. Oh yeah, but not quite sophisticated. But you like it. Oh, it's okay. Well, would you take me there tomorrow? Sure. At least, you know, it's always fun to, to shop with you. And also, someone is going to pay my pills. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Besides, what are friends for? If not for the inconvenience. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's fine, I, I will. Um, now, can we please stop talking and get back to this business? Because I'm about to beat you silly to this game. Watch it. Okay, let's do it. Really? Try me. Now watch. I've been pitying you. Try Now watch. I love to raise dust. I love to see people in pain. I love to break people's hearts. Now me be happening, lady. Yeah, yes, come, come, come in. Yeah, what's over? Yeah, what's over? Now maybe this so. Now maybe this so. Now maybe this so. You said that you see you before dishing out the food. Don't you think there's um something better here than the food you've prepared? I don't know what that means. Naive Kenneth, he doesn't know what that means. All right, Kenneth. Yes, ma'am. Why are you blushing? I ask you, I mean... I know you've seen so many girls, uh, beautiful girls, always dressed like this, so... Why are you acting like a boy? Ma'am... I don't think that's an appropriate conversation to have with my employer. Your employer, you said? Yes. Uh, so, I have the right to do whatsoever that I want to do. But ma'am... Hey! Can I come on? Ha haven't you longed for this thing? Haven't you dreamt of how it will look like? Giving it to you at a platter of gold. Why don't you just... Ma'am... Hey! Why... Just... Okay... But on a platter of gold, just hold me, please. Yes. What is this? Is this a child's play or what? Why are you? Why are you holding me against my will? Because I find it very, very embarrassing. Listening to you spew that nonsense from your mouth. Cold allegations. What is this? Stop being dramatic. You are the only one mischievous enough to do something like this. Really? Oh, yes. <laughs> what proof do you have? No proof? 
You are accusing someone without any proof? What is this? We know you spent a week at Whispering Palms. And a trip to Abu Dhabi. And... And what? Are you keeping tabs on my personal life? Marissa, I have money. Money goes into my account. Only he... He hasn't honored that. But I'm not even complaining. Barista, you and I can actually sue you. I can sue you for invading my privacy. It is called investigation, Miss Pierce. Jess, we just want to know how 7.6 million naira disappeared into thin air. Are you so sure that my client supposedly knows about this? This is that the most assassination of character. Well, I don't just get it. Why, why, why are you suspecting me? Why me? When he has a wife. Another wife that has access to his property. So why me? He has access to his property and entitlement. So why just me? Clinton, why me? You're never going to change it. <laughs> You're never going to change. Lying remains your strongest defense mechanism. You are never going to change. Look at you. What did you do with all that money that I gave to you? Blow it on some gigolo? <laughs> hmm? And I hurt you? Because you're no longer getting it from me. Oh, well, I knew. I knew she would never get you. Only Claudia can get you. Oh, please, don't flatter yourself. You think that stealing a few millions from my account will frustrate me? So why are you crying? Why are you calling everybody? Why are you calling the, the governor of the central bank when you can handle this? Oh, so you admit that you stole it? It doesn't matter what comes out of my mouth. You've decided to believe whatsoever that you want to believe. I do not care. But you know what? You, you will come back to me. I know you will come back to me. But you know what? Try and scrutinize people around you because you never know who's the devil. You know you are some excuse for a woman. Watch yourself. <laughs> I'll be sure you know what you're doing. Mm. You must be the father of my child. Whether you like it or not, you are going to be the father of my born child. What? Why would she say such a thing? Why? So now calm down. Right, she was just blabbing as far as I'm concerned. Well, she may be blabbing, but she's trying to drag my name into it. What is it? How can she say such a thing? Why would I want to take such amount of money from you, let alone stealing it? Am I that stupid? No, baby, you're not. But well, she is, though. She's the devil's incarnate, you know, so please. No, she's possessed. Yes, she is. That's the only kind of explanation to why she would do something like this and try to drag my name into it. Baby, it's fine. Sit down. Please. Please. Let her blab. As much as she wants. What's most important is that I do not believe her. You believe in her or not, it's not my problem. Clint is not. My problem is that your ex-wife is trying to drag me into her mess. Honey, I know I promised you that I was not going to get involved in a lot. Oh yes, you did. But if she continues to drag me into this mess, she's going to see me in a light that she never expected. So much pain 
and tragedies, huddles on our way. I go for what I want, anyhow, anytime, anywhere. Take her. I may not understand you a whole lot, but I know we both are hustlers. Working as domestic staff to a divorced woman because we could not get something to engage ourselves in. Kenneth, is that how you see yourself? Well, if that is how you see yourself, I tell her, I see myself differently. And I know I can never be a hustler. I will not respond to that, Tiger. You hate me. You don't like me. Everything I said does not make sense to you. It doesn't. Kenneth, where is this coming from? I have never had any issue with you. How can you possibly accuse me of not liking you? Because you don't like me. You feel I'm blocking you from something. And that's because you are doing something bad. Why do I have this feeling that there's a bad blood between you two? I do not have bad blood with anyone. I'm just minding my business. Baby, is he saying the truth? Yeah, he is. We are simply trying to catch up as guys working together. He's right. Saying something, Tega? Yes, ma'am. She don't type a worry. Excuse me? I saw the way you looked at him. You have slept with him, haven't you? Tega, what's your business in my personal life? Both, ma'am. Tega, you know the truth. Yes, I do. Tega, because you managed to give me orgasm once in a while doesn't mean we are dating. I mean, I can't descend too low to, this, to date a boy like you. Now, let's get this straight. Tega, you work for me. You don't have any business with my personal life. I have the right to date whosoever that I want to date. Do whatsoever that I want to do. You don't have any right to question my personal life. You don't. No. Please. Do I make myself clear? Yes, ma'am. I'm clear. So okay, you're good at what you do. Thank you very much, ma'am. And I do not want to sack you. Don't give me the reason to. I beg you. Have a nice day. Thank you, ma'am. I don't care what they think, I don't care what they say. Wapulo no mana, anyhow I want, I go live my life. I go for what I want, anyhow, anytime, anywhere. Until I'm chotty and not 
Bam. Here is it. What was that? What was what? Why are you playing with my friend? Oh. She likes you, right? I thought she was waiting for you. She wants you? What do you mean? She likes you, yes. Even the blind can, can see that. Oh well. I don't understand what you mean. She is not going to have you because I am not done with you. What is it, Martin? What's it going to happen? I said this? what I said. And the body wants what the body wants. I cannot help it. Mati. Can I have Mati now? So are you joining me in bed tonight or not? I need you back tonight. You should have seen the way she looked at me like I was some predator trying to prey on her favorite toy. <laughs> <laughs> but of course you are. You know who Claudia is, don't you? So, are you saying she could have done him already? The question should be, why isn't she letting him go like the others? Maybe because he's good in bed. I mean, she drops them like they mean nothing to her. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. You know, I am still thinking, how and when did Claudia they're all around Christian. They're almost Virgin Mary in the circle of our friends. Became this wide end. I don't even know what to call it. Dorothy, you know she was never like this. Jane, you're not the only one contemplating it. I mean, back then, she used to be very quiet. She was always on her own. Yeah, I know. Always in church. She was even in the choir. I really don't know what happened to her. I don't know. I think life happened. Life. She got the real taste of life. I couldn't stop. Yes. Anyway, I still get money from her when I need it. So whatever she wants to do with her life, that is her business. It's not mine. It's your business. Don't say that. She's our friend. I beg you. It's affecting us. It's affecting me. Like the saying, show me your friend and I'll tell you who you are. Yes. That's why I'm concerned about her. You have a duty towards her. Please. You really have a duty towards her. Jane, I beg. What's my own? No one ever sat me down to advise me. I remember back then, her mom used to say all sorts of things to me. she told me how I'll end up being wayward. Now, what is happening? The reverse is the case. Dorothy. Don't Dorothy me, please. I want to change my cutters. Do you have me color? Dorothy, she mm. needs help. Don't Dorothy me.
I'll probably send some money if I do at all. Queen of Slot and her conniving friend. Well, like I can see he's really taking good care of you. Why won't he? That's what he usually does. And then later he'll just put you aside because I know that will happen very soon. Claudia, stop! Stop this! Mm. Who are you trying to engage in a conversation with? Me? This will not take us anywhere. Who told you to not? Because I'm trying to engrave my eminent importance into his heart. And that will happen. Alright? And you? How long do you think he's going to keep you around before bringing the rightful owner of that house and his heart? How long do you think that will happen? Listen, I see what you're trying to do. You're clearly seeking for attention. One you are there in need of. But you know what? I promised my husband that I was going to stay clear of all of this and let him handle his ex-wife. Sorry to bust your bubbles because that is exactly what I am going to do. Excuse me. Did you see ex-wife? I am not his ex-wife. I am still his wife. And that clearly makes you the other woman. Rather, that's, that's exactly who you are. Yes. I am his wife. Trying to convince yourself on me? L listen, Melissa, I am still his wife. You better get that into your head, and that will never change. Not anytime soon. Bitch. Claudia, that is a You're great to here. Do you know something about cheating husbands? They will always come back to their wives. And I'm sitting patiently waiting because I know that will happen very soon. Nothing is going to change that. You still remain. Queen of Slut, get that into your head. I be bad egg, I agree. If you do anything at all, no, just stand on my way. I beg you, hold your hand, device. Oh, I love to raise dust, I love to see people in pain. Do you know that you are a devil's incarnate? Do you? Just look who's talking. Look who's talking. What in the world did Millicent do to you? Because she did not steal or take anything from you. Obviously, no. You are the one who ruined what you had with Clinton. So what does she do to you? Oh, you just shut up. What do you know? You know nothing about what happened between myself and Clinton. You just shut up. Okay? Keep quiet. I don't think so. I know too well. I know enough to know that you are an insatiable dog and Clinton left you. In fact, he already divorced you. So why won't you let Clinton and Millicent have peace? Why? You know, I used to think you're my friend. Now I know that you are just a... Uh... A two-faced timing bitch. I don't know if she knows that when things go wrong, you are just going to get up and let her go through it. Does she know? Claudia, you know nothing about me. Absolutely nothing. And she will be the bigger fool to think that I will stick by you after knowing what I know about you. Listen and read my lips very well. I, Dana, will not stand and watch you hurt Millicent or Clinton. Ever. Dana, you're a bitch. You're a bitch! I don't care what they think. 
I don't care what they say. Wapulo no manya. Anyhow I want, I go live my life. I go for what I want. Me. Okay. Is that the one? Is anything the matter? Something happened? Clinton. Yes, babe. I know I told you that I am not going to interfere with this ongoing battle between you and your ex-wife. Oh, yeah. But God be a witness that I have been trying so hard to stay clear of her and her troubles. But I have just had enough of her gloating and guarding at me at every chance that she gets. Did you run into her? Really? Did I run into her? Is that what you're going to ask me? Clinton, who else is going to get me all worked up like this if not her? Take it easy. Okay. What did she say to you? Does it matter what she says to me? Does it? Because you and I know that she will always say something that will get me all worked up. Next time that she sprouts at me with her nonsense, I swear to God, Clinton, I will so deal with her in a way that she will not recognize herself the next okay. day. Okay, I'm sorry, baby, calm down. Sweetheart, don't, don't do anything out of character. No, 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 please. No, I am done. Yes, I am done. What is it now? I'm not the one who ruined her marriage with you. Tell me, am I the one that told you to divorce her? No, 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 no. I am done. Clinton, I am done. Please. No, let's even talk about it. Am I the one that ruined her marriage with you? No. Am I the one that told you to divorce her? Clearly not. I wasn't even with you to the end of your divorce. So what is it? Why do I have to be called queen of slots? What? She called you that? <laughs> oh, please, Clinton. What? Please, let's not pretend as if she has not called me more disgusting names. She has called me worse names than this in public for people to hear, see. But if she thinks, Clinton, that I am going to stand still and do nothing about it, <laughs> then she must be the joker of all ages. Please, baby. I don't care what they think. I don't care what they say. Anyhow I want, I go live my life I go for what I want Anyhow any You know the issue here is nobody is seeing the main problem And the main problem here is It's Millicent That lady is just a nurse That I paid to take care of my husband how can she come in and think she's, she's the main woman of the house? How can she do that? And you all expect me to leave her? You not li you, 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 would you listen to me? My name is Claudia. And I do not take nonsense. It's either that woman lives on her own or I will run her out of the city. And it is what it is. And I mean it. <laughs> Anyhow I want, I go live my life. Mom. What is it? You really need to come and attend to your ex. He's half tired and very angry. What is it? Why? What is your problem? I ask you. Why? Why would you insult my wife? 
Why would you even think of belittling her like that after everything that you've done? Claudia, what is your problem? I see. So she has already come to complain to you? And there you are. What did you come here to do? To beat me up? <laughs> Clinton, come on. Let me watch you do it. No, beat me, Sammy. Listen to me. Don't think that me being calm and excessively understanding is a sign of weakness. You see, the stupid stunt that you have just pulled the next time you try it. <sighs> you don't believe what I'll do. What to would you? you do? What would I do? What would you do? What would I do? Oh, yes. Because you did not do anything when I, I put your business to jeopardy. You did not do anything. You did not do anything when I sent my boys to call money from your tenants. You couldn't do anything. So what are you here for? What can you do? You cannot do anything because you are... You are just a pussy. You are an idiot. That's who you are. That's right. Yes. That's right. You see, all that time that you pulled all that stunt, I knew about it even though you lied through it. All that I can take. But you insulting my wife, that I will not take. Claudia, you and I are divorced. We are done. Understand it? And leave me a mind alone. I will. But you see those papers? I did not approve of it. And who cares? I didn't even sign it. Who cares? You intentionally decided not to show up at the last hearing. Why? Because you're looking for who to string along and drag this whole thing till infinity. But not everyone is as stupid as you are, Claudia. I have moved on with my life. I'm happily married to my wife. You will not repeat this nonsense again. Try it! You try it! What would you do? You try it! What would you do, Clinton? Claudia! I will not let you happy after ruining my own happiness. You would not go scot-free. After ruining my happiness, you remain my husband. And my husband, you will remain. And so shall it be. Oh, Ma'am. Um, Ma'am. What are you doing here? I, 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 I'm sorry, I, I... He's dropping on me No, my no, no, I, I heard voices. Really? Is this your job? Or you want to add gossip to your resume? I, I'm sorry, ma'am. Really? No, 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 because I can gladly add that to your recommendation. No problem. I'm sorry, I, I heard voices. That's none of your business. You're supposed to be preparing lunch like you should. Yes, I, 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 I am done and I was going to call you already. Yes. Glad you have. But I've lost my appetite. Okay. Yeah. I think I need something else for lunch. I don't care what they think. I don't care. What are you waiting for? You need to come and get me to where I need to be right now. Your kiss my command. Live my life. I go for what I want. Anyhow, anytime. I know how mad you are right now. But I am here to urge you not to let whatever she said get at you. By the way, who is Claudia? A whore? A useless nymphomaniac who has not managed to resist one man in her life? <laughs> that fool should not get at you. She should not be able to make you mad. She's not worth it. No. I'm leaving. Um, Dana, thanks for coming. And I'm very sorry with the way I left. I was 
I was pissed. But that is exactly what she wants. Get into your skin, force you to do what you don't do naturally. Sweetheart, you, you have all it takes to resist her. You can. Right? Thank you. About to quit. But love say no. Close to giving up. But love insists. Instead of hatred. You fucking bitch. We have enjoyed everything I've done for you, and this is what I get. A three months advance salary. And a work revocation notice. At least if I've done right by you, I deserve to be rewarded generously with amazing runs of sex. Not this. Can I? Kenneth, you're just an egoistic son of a bitch, aren't you? Says the woman who has been beating on her ex. And I've forgotten what to have fun look like. <clears throat> so, what were you saying? I'll just get my stuff and leave. I will see you. I know exactly what to do. Are you still? Am I discarding? Man, chill, eh? calm down. How can I become? Would you become if you wear my shoes? Down. Don't tell me to calm down. How can I calm down? She's been harassing my wife. Over and over again. Amazon has been dealing with it, thinking that playing it cool would, would fix the situation. I know, man. I know. I know. Please. But you know she called her a slut? No, she called my wife a slut. When indeed she's been the one whoring herself around town, she can't even hold a candle close to my wife. She's got nothing on Melissa. See, man, you know that this is what she wants. Rye you up, provoke you, and you get into a, a, a mess, and the consequence you get to face for the rest of your life, and the worst scenario, you, 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 you deal with her, she gets into a, a mess as well, and you end up paying for it. Don't fall for it now, please. That won't even happen because I cannot stand being in the same room with her. So. Then please don't fall for it. Because she wants something, she's seeking for something, a reaction. Oh, don't because the reaction is what she should get. The reaction is what she would get if she does not stop harassing my wife. What is it? See, man, I have a plan. You know you said you don't want any interference with this matter. I think it's high time we involved your mother into this. What? Yeah. Oh no, don't do that. No, 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 please, no. Yes, please. No, no. Okay, listen. See, your mom is a very influential woman. Miss O'Connor is a formidable force. She is the one that could take her on her. Think about it. No, come on, man. I'm not a crybaby. I'm not a mommy's boy. What a what, run back to my wife that, that I'm having issues with my ex-wife who happens to be a bitch. Yes. Your mom is a mega bitch, no offense. But I think she's a banger bitch and she could do with that lady. Come on, man, let's do this. My daughter, you have to calm down, okay? Everything will be fine. Mom. Ah, son. You're back. And what are you doing here? Why am I just getting to know what is happening around you? Why? Mom, well, what are you... How, how, how is it that you're here? You didn't tell me you're coming. What are you doing here, Mom? <laughs> are you okay? This is my son's house. And I can't remember last when I needed to book an appointment before coming to see my son. Uh, Mom, I, I, I didn't mean it that way, but... Uh, is everything okay, baby? What are you doing to my wife, Mom? We are just talking anyway. You're just talking and she's, yes. she's this way? Ah, 
okay. So that? Oh. Are you okay? I know what you are aiming at. That I didn't approve you to marry Millicent. Right? But you went ahead and married her. So, she's my daughter-in-law. I am naturally worried because of her. Just the way I would for you. So, can you now tell me what is going on between you and your wife? Despite the arrows, yet we stand. Despite the sorrows. I'm just wondering. Wondering on what was it between you and that wickedness? What are you insinuating, Taylor? Are you trying to tell me how to live my life now? No. Because I was told that Kenneth was just a cook. But there is this chemistry that suggested it very clearly to me that Kenneth was more than a cook. You know, you're free to think whatsoever that you want to think, Tega. But be very careful before you bring out the best in you. Jeez. Really? Don't try it. You will push me to the wall someday. And I'm going to set you ablaze. Get out. Now. I don't care what they think, I don't care what they say. Wapulo no mana, anyhow I want, I go live my life. I go for what I want, anyhow, anytime, anywhere. Until I'm chotty and natural. Yakotoba, Yakotoba. Oh my God. Clinton. So this is what you've been going through. And you never told me. I thought you said you had it under control. I, I, I did, Mom. I did. I had it under control, Mom. I definitely had this under control. Just as this past few months, she's been harassing my wife. Embarrassing her the slightest of even in public. Huh? Mom, this is really painful. And this is very annoying and painful. But this is not the happiness that I promised my wife. This is heartbreaking, Mom. I know she might not be my favorite person. But that does not mean I should allow her to go through that pain. No. I don't think it's proper. So what's the deal? Are you allowing her to walk? I want her, Mom. And stand it too. I find Claudia close to my wife. Mom, if I find Claudia close to Millicent today, I will not regret losing my clothes. I'm no. going to prison, Mom. No, 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 son. It hasn't got into that. Please, you are not going to any prison. Not even any of the people that call me Mom. No. I can't sit and watch her harassing you and your family. I think I will talk to her. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't do that. I know I might be her least favorite person. That is if I even made it to the list. But notwithstanding, I think I have to talk to her. Mom. I have to talk to her. Mom, this is not in your place. Please. The both of you do not see eye to eye. She might be a bulldog when it comes to you, but when it comes to me, Mom, it's different. Let me handle this my way. I don't care what they think. I don't care what they say. Wapulo no mana. Anyhow I want, I go live my life. I go for what I want. Anyhow, anytime, anywhere. Until I'm chotty and natural. Yakotoba. I told you I never wanted to come here. 
Claudia, how long is this going to go on? As long as she'll stop poke nosing into my business, acting like she's a saint when she's not even close to being a, a repentant sinner. Okay, but she's your friend. She's our friend. Besides, I'm tired of this bad blood between you two. It drills me, and I don't like it. As long as she'll stop acting like Mother Mary, we are fine. Okay, thank you. Can we go now, please? I be bad egg, I agree. I fi do anything at all. No, just stand on my way. I beg you, hold your hand, device on. I love to raise dust. I love to see people in pain. I love to break people hearts off. Now me be half on the lady, Thank you. Wow. Makes sense. You are so beautiful. Uh -huh. I've been seeing lots of people here. I've never seen someone like this. Oh, so please. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Stop flashing me. Um, truth be told, you do an amazing job here. I know, right? Yes. I am good at what I do. <laughs> and I you told are. you that you will enjoy coming here. <laughs> yes, you said so. <laughs> Oh, this is nice. Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry, you'll be seeing more of me. Hmm? <laughs> I'm glad I convinced you to come here. So you see? So anytime we're free, you could just come here, change your look, <laughs> change, touch her. Hi, baby girl. Hi, Kati. Hi. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good. Oh, you look good. <laughs> Thank you. What is this slot doing here? And mm -hmm. what's this colliding friend of yours <clears throat> also doing here? <laughs> Claudia. Watch your language. She's my customer. Customer? It's not possible. Because she cannot afford this place. She wouldn't be here if she cannot afford this place. And besides, even if she doesn't have such money, it's none of your business. That what, doesn't... Is, what is it then? A charity home? Ah, ah, mm, mm, enough. I have had enough of this madness. Claudia, whatever your name is, everyone won't be like you. Yes, I may not have enough as you had when you decided to, to leave your husband's house to frolic around. But listen, Josh and I are doing just fine. Oh, you just shut up. Keep quiet, you, you, you church rat. I fed you. I took care of you and that's your so-called husband. I know you wouldn't maintain it. That's why you had to click to this cheap slot. So you can keep leaving off her. Do you think I don't know? Because I know you cannot leave. Enough! Claudia, enough of it. I would not stay here and have you insult my friends. If this is how you insult your friends, fine by me. But I will not allow you insult my friend. Do you understand? <laughs> I know this little slut will talk. No, she will talk. She will talk. Who are you even defending? This is your fellow slut? Is that who are you? Who Claudia, are you? do not call me a slut. Would you? What is she saying? Is that not who you were? Slut? Homewrecker? Is that not who you were? What? 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 I know we did, but that woman has beaten more than she can chew. She was talking to you like you were some filthy rag, and then she slapped me. Can you imagine? But I thought she would hold on until... Oh, until when? She has been calling me different names at every chance she gets. Who knows what next she's going to do if I don't stand up for myself? This is not right. Man, this is... This is not right. This is the part time to tell you that I love what you did back there. Wow! Your friend! Oh, God! I'm so proud of you. Like, I have not seen this Millicent before this part of. Gosh! Well, that's because I have been trying to keep. The crazy Millicent in check. Mm -hmm. Yes, no, seriously, I'm usually not like this. Not until someone triggers that crazy side of me. Our friendship definitely did. 
indeed. And she deserved it. I am proud of you. Like, I am so proud of you. But wait, while we are happy and celebrating all about this, I am going to tell your husband what happened to you here. The truth. Yeah, I'm not going to hide anything from him. What you did, did you see the way you gave it to her? No, 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 really, because that's lady, I've had enough of her. I have had enough of her troubles. What is it? Claudia got it hot. Wow. Mm. I be bad egg, I grieve. I feel do anything at all. No, just stand on my way. I beg you, hold your hand, device. Oh. I love to raise dust. Dorothy, did you say that? Dorothy, did you just say that? That idiot watched them do this to me. This is why I refused going to her shop. Did you see that? She stood like a statue and watched them fight me? It's not okay. That girl is going to pay for this. She will pay for what she did to me. What are you going to do, Claudia? Just watch. Your own is just to watch me do what I want to do. Just observe me. I love to break people's hearts, so now me be happening, lady. Oh, yeah, what's over? Yeah, what's over? Yeah, what's over? Yeah, what's over? Now me be this, so now me be this, so now me be this, so yeah, what's over? Yeah, what's over? Everybody, child. Yeah, what's over? Hello, welcome. <laughs> welcome, Mother in. Thank you. Thank Don't you. Know, come on. Cheer up now. Uh, listen, I know you do not like me. You now see me as one of those evil women. But that doesn't change the fact that you are still my mother-in-law and I love you so much. I am sure you know the difference between a mother and a mother-in-law. Mother. Mother. Mama, listen, I do not want to go into an argument with you. No, I don't. It's really been a long time that, that I've seen you and it's so nice you are visiting me. After a very long time, Mama. I am not just visiting. Mama, please, what can I just offer you first? Please. <laughs> I am not just visiting you, Claudia. I am here to hold a private meeting with you because I am not happy. Can we settle down to it? You want me to do what? I am certain that I spoke English. Or you want me to say it in Igbo language? Mama, he's my husband. Was W A S was your husband the one the you... one I took care of when things went sour, Mama? I was there with him all through, picked up his pieces, and I even stood by him. Wow! 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 You did all that. Come on, Claudia. Both you and I know that there is no truth. No close truth at all. You know what? I want you to stay away from my son and his family. Well, Mama, I am not divorcing him. Really? Sweetheart, you did already. Yes. Please stay away from my son. You see the divorce papers? I did not sign it. I did not sign it, Mama. I did not. Not appearing for your hearing. It's as good as you saying good well to the divorce. And it's done and dusted. Claudia, please stay away from my son. You have put so much pain in him. You have put so much pain in him. A lot of pain and trauma. Now as he stands, and as he has had himself again, please, stay away from him. 
with his wife. Oh, please. I am his wife. The one he married legally, Mama. Really? He can just throw me out and, and go about the city for liquor with that slut. What? Mama, you, you don't dare that. Do not dare that. My name is Claudia, remember? You don't do that in my house. Don't raise your hands on me. Listen and listen, God. He is my son's wife. He's not a slut. Have I ever made myself clear? Now listen. And listen, God. Stay away from my son. Now he's found himself happy again. Please leave him alone. Leave him alone. You have put him into so much pain. It don't seem as if you are seeing the trouble. The problem that made him to go off from you for so solid years. Eh? Messing around him and his business. What is wrong with you? Mama, Mama, please. Mama, please, I know you do not like me, but let me tell you something. All you need to do is go back to your son and speak some sense into him. Tell him to come back to me. That's all you need to do. Really? Yes. And you know what and how I want it to happen? You are going to leave my son. You are going to leave him. You are really going to leave him. You have done him more harm than good. And as he stands, let me tell you, if you are not seeing it as a pattern, if you are not seeing it bad as it is, eh, my dear, for four solid years, you've done a lot of bad things. And now that he has got himself alone, he has got himself and with his wife, you should allow them to be happy for once. Let me remind you again. I don't even know why you feel back to here. I don't know why you flip back to here, but I want to remind you the stuff I am made of. I am a woman of many sides. If you dare me, if you dare me, you will see the side, the left side of me. Yes. Easy before you break my door. I love to break people's hearts so. Now maybe half on the lady oh. Yeah, what's over? Ah, yeah, what's over? Yeah, what's over? Yeah, what's over? <laughs> what is this woman up to? Does she really want me to change it for her? Yeah, what's over? Yeah, what's over? Everybody chant. Yeah, what's over? Look at you. Hmm? Sorry, 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 mm. sorry. It's okay. Sorry. Baby. Hmm? What were you thinking getting into a fight with that monster? Huh? I see what she's done to your very beautiful face. Mm -hmm. See, yes, now have this bruise here. You should have seen what I did to her. What did you do? You would know she barely survived me. Hmm. Hmm. the tiger. Uh, you had to fight. Uh, I'm somehow proud of you because I never knew you had it in you to fight. <laughs> no, seriously, I only fight for the right cause and the right reasons too. Besides, I've been extending truth hands to her, but she rejected it. It's not my fault. Mm. You know it's not your fault. But next time, please don't get into a fight. It doesn't suit you. You're way too beautiful for that. You know that, right? Yeah. Mm. You know you cannot go to work like this. Oh, yeah, I know. Um, I already called the head nurse. Okay. Yes, I sent her pictures and she gave me three days off. That's good. Mm -hmm. oh, very good. Mm. We both use the three days well because I'll be working from home as well. Babe, you can't. Oh, why can I not? Someone has to look after you, baby. Come on, it's not as if I broke an arm or a leg. Oh, well, I'm not going to get myself into that office with my head running right thinking how you're coping with yourself. Uh, let me be here now. Let me take care of you now. So you say you like to be taken care of. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. no problem. Go find next time. 
What does this woman think? That she can scare me like she used to when Clinton and I were still together? She already had a ton pushing me around and now she has come here to give me ultimatum? Well, I have no doubt that she is a bigger reason Clinton threw me out of his life in the first place. She never liked me. But whether she likes it or not, she will have to deal with my ass for a long time than normal because I am not leaving Clinton. Never. Girlfriend? Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, baby. <laughs> you didn't tell me we'll have a full house. Uh. Huh? Oh, hi, Clinton. How are you? Fine, thank uh, you. You told me it was just her. <laughs> you didn't tell me Josh was here. Josh, oh, what's going on? I did. Ah! Hey, how are you? I'm okay. Good. You good? Mm -hmm. I'm alright. What's going on? Guy, we just got in. And based on what just happened, we just came to see if your wife is okay. Oh, come on, Josh. Nothing serious happened. She slapped me, and for the first time, I decided to put her in her place. <laughs> and you sure did. Mm -hmm. You sure did. It's fine. Oh, well, that brings me to what I had in mind to present to your husband. Oh, really? What is it? What, there's a different angle to this? Sure. Oh, okay. What other angle? Uh, I was see. thinking... Yes. Claudia shouldn't be allowed to go scot-free. Mm. I mean, yeah. she slapped Millicent. She assaulted you. And she has to face the rot of the law. Mm. I have discussed it with my husband and he agreed. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this is ridiculous. One woman's going to another's into a salon and slap another woman. If this is not handled properly, it will repeat itself again. I get it. All right, but guys, take, take it easy. Uh, Josh, <laughs> just just slow down. Um, from the way you all are reacting, I can tell that you people don't know Claudia. I don't care to know who she is. To know that she committed the crime and she has to face the wrath of the law. Come on. This is exactly what she wants me to do. She wants me to react. That way, the bloggers would feed off my reaction and humiliate my family, thereby insulting my wife indirectly. I understand. Thanks for your concerns, but we have decided to move on. Okay? And silence is what we're going to serve. Okay, please, please. I know I've heard this voice before, but where and circumstances that brought us to your eyes is, is what I don't know. Uh, Ichia, my name is Claudia, and you were the one that stood for Clinton when they came to marry me. Oh my goodness. What? You mean you are that young lady? Beautiful young lady we married for Clinton. How come you disappeared? I mean, where have you been? Uncle, I am fine. But so much has really happened in my marriage. Yes, Uncle, I stayed away because I've been trying to salvage things. But things have really gone wrong, Uncle. That's why. I remember you, Cheng Bada, because I know you are the only one that can call Clintons to other. Please. This is indeed serious. I tried all I could. I tried everything I could in my own little way, but you know Clinton. Clinton is so stubborn. He wouldn't listen to anybody. He wouldn't even listen to me, Uncle. I am aware I divorced this first wife. I married another. But what I don't know, are you trying to say that the divorce was not well done? 
Oh, on the contrary, it's, it's not that. You know how things were before he got sick. He got very sick that abandoned everything, put everything on hold just to be by his side. And on recovering, what did he do? He just threw me out. He threw me out with no explanation. No explanation whatsoever, go. Such a thing happened and you don't know about it? Oh, I do not know anything. I don't know anything. If my sins were there grievous, why didn't you just put it on, plan, on ground for the divorce? Than going with a popular cliche. Irreconcilable differences. Irreconcilable differences, my food. Well, I felt it's not my business to double into a private life of a man. But what I don't know is that why he has not come to tell me why he ended it all with you. Uncle, because he is guilt-trapped. That lady is a witch. She has wrapped him round her fingers. That lady wouldn't let him come for lunch. Wouldn't let him come for dinner. I mean, she's the other woman in our lives. She's the outsider in our lives. Yes, it leaves me at one. Hmm. And you know the most painful part? That woman ambushed me. She ambushed me. She beats me up with her friends. Oh, just look at my face. Just, just look at my face. What? This is bloody inhuman. Why would you do this? She said once I'm still alive, she would not have Clinton all to herself. And you didn't defend yourself? What would I have done? I managed to escape from this. You needed to see that they did this to me, Uncle. I looked very awful. Very, very awful. But thank God I, I have good friends though. Did you tell him? How could I have told him? Do you want him to kill somebody and go to jail for doing good? Is that what you want? I did not tell him. She deserves to be locked up in a cell for doing this. On my own path, I will call Clinton. <laughs> eh? If she can do this to you, who knows what she, she will do to him in his sleep? Oh, God, in fact, I will make her to leave that wild animal. <laughs> I don't want to lose my husband. I don't want to lose my husband. He has so much to live for. Uncle, oh, please, I beg you. Please. Nothing as such will happen. I will never let anybody, much more or less a woman, hurt my godson in any kind. Never. Thank you, Uncle. That's all right. It's okay. Fine. Thank you. Oh, dear. In my soul, I love to raise dust. I love to see people in pain. I love to break people's hearts. Now, maybe half one in lady. Now, Clinton, let's see who wins. Now, maybe this song. Why will all this be happening and Clinton don't bother to tell me? Hmm.
Creepy has a reason he doesn't want to disclose to me. But what is that reason? So much pain and tragedies. I live my life. I go for what I want. Uncle, 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 take it easy. That is not what happened. No, uncle. No, 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 no. Uncle, that's not how it happened. Okay? My wife is not like that. No. No. I cannot believe that you'd let Claudia brainwash you like that, uncle. Uncle, you should have seen Millicent on that day. I agree with you, uncle. This is not something that we'll talk about over the phone. I would come see you this weekend, so we'll talk about it. Oh, yes. I'll be at your place. All right, Uncle. Babe, what's wrong? Oh, that was my uncle. Ah, uh, it was about the fight. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yes. So this is what she has been up to? Ah, clearly. I'll go see him this weekend. Yeah, I heard you. I'm going with you. Oh, no, no, no. Come on. It's, it's not necessary. I'm handling it. Babe, that complaint was about me. So, yes, I am going with you. Clinton, I was beginning to think you would blow me off. Ah, no, Uncle. Uh, you trust me now. You know I wouldn't do that. It was just, it was just traffic, you know, getting here. Millicent, how are you? I'm very well, Ashe. Why are you holding up? You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, come inside. Please come in. Uh, thank you. You're my love, my faith, my happiness. You are Uncle, I can't believe that you you bought her side of the story without even considering my side of the story. But I tried asking you years back. I had the reason for your divorce, but you wouldn't tell me. That is because I did not want to. Um, as much as she's no longer my wife, uh, <laughs> it also does not mean that I cannot protect her. From what? From us? From the truth. Truth? So you are confirming the suspicion I have had long ago that your mother has something to do with your divorce? As a matter of fact, no. Uh, my mother was actually of the opinion that getting a divorce would be the worst decision of my life. Uh, but for me, I could not continue living with a woman who was a serial cheat. She cheated on you? Oh, well, that's my reality. Initially, I did not want it um, out there, you know, just so that I can protect her. But uh, I think it is time for the world to, to know the truth. It's time to let the cat out of the bag. What are you talking about? <laughs> Uncle, this is bullshit. This is not me. Th th that's not me. How can I disrespect my matrimonial home? How? That is Photoshop. It's a Photoshop. It's not me. Photoshop? Yes, Photoshop. I, I, I didn't do this. Uncle, come on. He is the cheat here. And not me. You're not a cheat? I'm not. Claudia, you are not a cheat. I ask you because that is not what the incriminating evidence against you here says. We all know you. You you're lying. You have no evidence. 
Your uncle, he's just trying to incriminate me. Because she asked him to do this. So that he could go on living with her. But you know what? You are nothing but a sorry excuse of a man. That's who you are. Excuse me, Claudia. I want to have you talk to my son that way. He was a good husband to you. He fought hell just to be with you. And every little chance you had, you flew up. I believe and I agree that you were once a good wife to him. But it's so furious you we are doing it because the situation was good. Yes! He created a little situation and you showed yourself up. Mama. Mama, this has nothing, nothing to do with you. Oh, you never liked me. You said that to me. You told me that you would never allow your son to marry me. The day he brought me to you, Mama. So what are you saying? Oh, well, I am not surprised. I'm not surprised you couldn't even stand up for me when your son brought up this divorce case. You couldn't stand up for me. Why would I stop him? Getting rid of a whore like you. You are a disgrace to womanhood, Claudia. Yes, you are. You are a paid disappointment to the institution of marriage. And what again? You broke your vow? You desecrated your home and everything in it. And now you are pointing accusing fingers on someone who is innocent. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Aren't you? Uncle. Uncle, did you hear all that? Did, did, you, did you hear your mother? Mrs. Okon, I am decent. Hmm. And not the other way around. Please. Hmm. Come on. Uh, you know, I was really rooting for you, Claudia. For moments. I really thought my boy could have done so wrong to get rid of you just like that. But he wasn't. At least. Not after I washed some of the things he showed me. I, I, I do not understand, Uncle. What I showed you before is just preamble. Let me show you the real thing now. Oh, come on, this is nonsense. This is, this is bullshit. Really? That is not me. That is not me. <laughs> Uncle, how can I? Claudia, disrespect my home? How could I? Why did I do that? Uncle, this is a Photoshop. I did not do this. I did not do this, Uncle. It is a Photoshop. Photoshop? A Photoshop. Claudia, what you have just watched? Is a video footage of you and it acting inappropriately. Those are not pictures. Clinton, why would you do this? Why would you do this? Why would you pay someone to, to act exactly like me? What did I ever do to you? Why, why did you do this? Stop embarrassing yourself. This whole thing is becoming a big show of shame. What are you saying? Are you saying that I hired someone and made the person undergo plastic surgery? To look exactly like you and took the person into our home to desecrate her matrimonial bed. Is that what you're saying? Well, I, I, I don't know. Do you? Oh, yes, of course. I'll help you. I'll take you down memory lane. Have you forgotten so quickly how disgusted you acted every time I tried to touch you? You will let me get close to you. And even when I have access to you, you fake orgasm. 
And in most cases, you never even reached out the same. And now what, you won't let me be? Now that I have found a good woman, one who treats me like a king, you have suddenly realized what you've lost. Claudia, have you forgotten that you treated me as if I were a piece of shit? Am I doing what? This thing that you're doing, it's not fair. Look, if, if there's a problem, talk to me about it. Please. Clinton, I do not want to talk. Especially not to you. What do you... So now what do you mean not to me? I'm your husband. Remember, we both agreed that if, if there's a problem, we'll, we'll talk about it so we can squash it. Right? Maybe I've missed you. I mean, you've been this way for a couple of months now. I can't help but wonder if, if, if everything is okay with our marriage. Please, baby. Get off, get off this bed. Just get out. Clinton, get out! Listen, I, I, I don't want to see your face again. Just, just, just leave. What are you talking about? Go, get, go where? Babe. See your face, just get out. I love to break people's hearts. So. Now, maybe half one in Lady. Oh, yeah, what's over? Yeah, I don't care what they think, I don't care what they say. What no Anyhow I want, I go live my life. I go for what I want. Clinton, how long are we going to live like this? How long? Are you finally willing to talk about it? Talk about what? Listen, Claudia. If you are not willing to talk about it, just please let me be. If you have noticed, I come here a lot because I find peace. A lot of peace here. Do not ruin it. Well, Clinton, I am. I'm sorry. I do not know what's going on with me lately. I don't. I mean, this minute I, I am like this, I, I, and the other minute I, I, I am. Well, I am sorry. Forgive me, please. Please. I'm not angry. Rather, I'm surprised to be confronted with an individual totally different from the person that I married. Claudia, this is not the woman that I married. What happened to you? Claudia, I know. And I'm ready to make it up to you. Please. I'm not asking for much. I just want you to.
to go back to the person that you were when we got married. Please, I will. I promise. I will. I, I would do anything for the man that I love. The man that means the whole world to me. I'm not asking you for the whole world. I have given you everything that gives comfort. Reciprocate by being a wife. That's all I ask. Be a wife. Oh, you. Jeez. Come on, Clayton, you know I love you. And I'm ready to do anything. Please, I'm sorry. Please. I don't care what they think. I don't care what they say. Wapulo no mana. Anyhow I want, I go live my life. Yes. Of course, my reservation is for 9 p.m. And I am coming with my husband. The whole idea is for you to come and seduce him. Don't be a fool. Don't be a fool, Tonya. The Clinton that you know is too principled. And that is what he's using against me. Listen, I want to break him. Bring him to one corner to realize that he is lost in after a woman before his wife. Exactly. I want to break him. Make him come apologizing to me. That is the plan. Good. <laughs> so you know me very well. <laughs> you know me. You know that I believe in delegated responsibility. I mean, what's the point uh, engaging the services of the managers that I have at that company if I have to show up every day at work? <laughs> yes. Oh, well, I must say that I am happy. Yeah, I, I must say they are doing a good job. Eh? Yes. yes, sir. <clears throat> okay, sir. Oh well, sir. I um, I would have to call you back, sir. My wife just stepped in. Ah, <laughs> you know, women. Let me give her the attention that she wants. Thanks for understanding, sir. Thank you. <laughs> The occasion. Just like my husband requested, I want to take him out for dinner tonight. Are you serious? Very <laughs> <So> serious. <laughs> Clinton. This is quite, quite. <laughs> Claudia. Well, this is true that I'm impressed. I, it's quite thoughtful of you. I, I dare to say more, <laughs> even romantic. You want to take me out for dinner? Clinton, you know, you touched my heart earlier today. I mean, the way you spoke to me today, I... I realized I've never been fair to you. Mm. So I just want to make it up. Yes. It's good. I see the effort. It's, it's good. This is how we should be. 
Yes. Marriage isn't supposed to be a burden. It's meant to be enjoyed and not endured. Huh? I know. This is good. Well, you know, well, you know I can come. I can't. I can't come with you like this. So you have to give me some time to change it to something. Okay. I can at least compete with what you're wearing. Come on! <laughs> you have all the time in the world, sweetheart. Change to what, whatever you're comfortable with. That, that's fine. My reservation is for 9 p.m. So we have all the time. You know, see, hmm. for this transformation and the kind gesture, I am going to get suited up in my Sunday's best so that you and I can take on the walk. Uh, you know me. Of course I do. You know I bring it. God, so much. Wait for it. <laughs> Just hurry up. You know I bring it. Of course I do. <laughs> So, do you love this place? I'd rather we talk about the food. I like the food. Food is good. Alright. Nice you love the food. Thanks, baby. <laughs> I was going to say that I'm happy that um, we're doing this today. You know? Just like old times, we're trying to get ourselves back to the way things used to be, you know? And I hope that we do this more often. Right? That's fine. What you said got me. But that's fine. Well, I'm happy you like the food. And um, if you return from work early tomorrow, I would love to take you swimming. Swimming? Mm -hmm. Oh. Why? <laughs> Swimming. Um, why not something else, baby? Why swimming? Please, you'd have to forgive me. Uh, you have to forgive me, darling. I, I don't like to swim in public pools. I, I I used to love it when I was much younger, but not, not anymore. We could try something else. Great to hope you're not trying to remind me of it, and I have forgotten. Sweetheart? Yes. Come on now. Listen, I'm not, I'm not trying to take us back to the events of the past, okay? But you remember one time I wanted to construct a pool in our home. You said no. Because I do not like private pools. There's no fun in it. The fun is seeing other people. That's the fun. Uh, let, let, it's crazy. Trust me, you will like it. You're serious about mm. this? I am. Listen, this place, it's beautiful. I can't do it. It's a new place. It's for something. Sweeties for VIPs. It's new in town. Very beautiful. Listen, I think I have to fly in the car. Hold on, let me get your flight. It's in the car. Just hold on. Just <sighs> watch this. Just drop food. Good evening, Mr. Hassan. I'm sorry, sorry, there's someone here. Okay, I'm just, just gonna see. Oh. Yes. My name is Tonia. Can I have a private talk with you? Excuse me? Uh, sorry. This is inappropriate. Listen, as a matter of fact, I came here with my wife. Don't tell uh -huh. me that you don't like what you're saying. What? I... It's your heart. Plato, what is this? What? Are you. Are you this classless? You could even wait for me to just step out. You already invited you. Your side chick. No, no, no. Sweet. You're so shameless. I don't care what they think. I don't care what they say. What you? no Anyhow I want, I go live my life. I go for what I want. Anyhow, anytime, anywhere Until 
Yeah, hello. I don't know if I got it right or wrong. But one thing I know is that I have created something that will make him to apologize to his wife. As she wants. Yeah. something I can't put together in my head what just happened there you know this minute you are now so into each other like we're about to take on the world like we're about to explore our love so it's foolish but then you just you just go off on me and then you become so mean No. You've got to say something. I don't want you to talk. I know you have to talk. Come on, babe. Don't say you don't want to talk. You've got to talk. What kind of marriage are we going to have without communication? We're man and wife, babe. We're meant to talk about everything. This never promised to be perfect, baby. But if we we'll talk through it, we can walk through it. We just might hit perfection, baby. I love you. I don't understand you these days. It's almost as if I did something that you're punishing me for. Did I do something? Babe. Um, please, I... <clears throat> I want to freshen up. Can we have this conversation when I'm done? Re really? Why does it appear as if I'm losing my woman? Why? Just stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Is, I, I, I don't understand. Is this what I am going to face tonight? I am tired. Please, I need to rest. Who have you been doing? What's that? What, 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 what is the meaning of that? What, what, where's that coming from? You told me that you were going to Dorothy's birthday party. Because today, indeed, is her birthday. You were not there. Who were you with? What is this? Are you giving tabs? Answer the question, woman! Who have you been doing? Clinton, I will not. I would not satisfy your bloated ego by providing an answer to, to that question. Since you have resigned to the suspicions, why don't you just go on and stop making me miserable while at it? I don't care what they think. I don't care what they say. Anyhow I want, I go live my life. I go for what I want. Yes, hello. Come on, no, no, no. You don't need to worry yourself about me calling you this late. Of course, I'm in charge of my life and I do whatsoever that I like. Please, no, 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 please stop it. 
Stop it. Listen, I am seeing you tomorrow. Of course, because I like the way you do it and I want to have more of it. So do you tomorrow? I grieve. I feel do anything at all. No, just stand on my way. I beg you, hold your hand, device. Oh, I love to raise dust. I love to see people in pain. I love to break people hearts. Oh, now me be happening, lady. Like oh, babe. Babe? Now maybe this so Now maybe this so Now maybe this so Ya Claudia Everybody child Ya Kotoba Babe Shakwana maybe this so Ya Kotoba Ya Kotoba Ya Kotoba I never want to be What is going on? I woke up and you are not in bed. Well, because you snore heavily that I could even shut my eyes. So I just decided to come here. Do you have a problem with it? No, 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 not at all. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I was snoring. I'm tired. It's been a very very, very tiring day for me. You know, I usually don't snore, but it's okay. You can come back to bed, all right? Um, so that you can sleep in till tomorrow. I'll be, I'll be okay. Yeah. You know. Okay. Please. Please. No, just stand on my way. I beg you, hold your hand, device. Oh. I love to raise dust. I love to see people in pain. I love to break people hearts. So now me be happening, lady. Oh, Yakotoba. Ah, Yakotoba. Yakotoba. Come on, man. Your wife can't do whatever you're imagining. Please, it's not possible. That's what we all think. What if we're all wrong? Wrong? Oh yes. It can't be wrong. Your wife is the most decent woman we've ever seen. Wait, why are we allowing this? Josh, you know me, right? You know that I don't like to work with assumptions. Neither would I begin to deal with the uncertainty of whether it's possible or not. No, I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Then ask her. What? Josh! Ask her, what are you talking about? You know both of us have been living like strangers for the past six months. Ask her, how would that even make me look? You were the one doubting her loyalty. But she's the one putting ideas in my head. She's putting suspicious ideas in my head. How about that? It better not be true, Josh. It better not be true. Because I'm going to kill. I'm going to kill Claudia. The little twat that she, she's chasing on me with. It better not be true. See, chill, man. Chill. He hasn't got into this. This is all a misconception. Sorry. Yes, hello. Hello? Oh, you're here. Oh, that's good. Please, come in. Yeah. Ah, I hope it's not a bad thing. It's not. It's, 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 oh, it's, it's, thank it's, you. It's, 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 uh, you can talk. It's fine. Eh? This is my. As a matter of fact, this is my best friend. So it's it's fine. You can talk. Um, Josh, that's uh, a private investigator that I hired to. Throw oh more light on. Yes. Clinton, you hired a PI. Oh, yes, I have to be sure that I'm not living with a woman who would someday kill me while I'm asleep. Well, he said you both are family and he trusts you. Well, I will sure break it down. Okay. 
Come. I've come to the end of the first phase of my job. And here I submit this. While I'm saying this, she's cheating. But you have to go through that. If you're not satisfied with that, I can commence the second phase of my investigation. Guy, I still can't believe this. So, Cloud are cheating on you. God damn, your life sucks. Now you understand. If I have not seen it, I wouldn't have believed. Wait. That girl you met three years ago, she practically worshipped the ground that you walked on. I know. I can't help but think that her new behavior is because of the money that she's exposed to now. She's exposed to a life that she was never used to. Looking back, I think I should have listened to my mother. Hmm. I stayed away from her. Well, this isn't your fault. Huh? No one can no one could have predicted this could happen. I mean, no one goes into this thinking the worst could happen. You guys were practically head over years with each other. So what are you gonna do now? I don't know. <laughs> Who knows what else this girl is doing behind me? I don't know. But um, cheating? I will not take it. I will not take it. I... I'm going to ask for a divorce. Okay. Will that be later? What? Joshua. Later. I cannot live under the same roof with a cheating wife. But you just said you're not sure. Maybe there are other plans she's up to, the other baggages and other plans up her sleeves that we need to uncover. So what then do you propose? I will call Mr. Lacron and move to Bristol. Baby. I can't do that, Clinton. Do you have an idea of what you're asking me to do for you? You can't do it, doctor. I trust her that you can do it. I invited you here because I need your help. I need you to help me unmask the one that I call my wife. If you're no longer okay with the marriage, then divorce her. You don't need to risk your life just to get a divorce. Thanks for the advice, Dr. Jonathan, but uh, what I'm asking you to do is not impossible. Uh, this is what men do in very developed countries, if at any point they are in doubt. Doctor, it requires a very skilled medical doctor to pull this off. <laughs> Dr. Jonathan, you are one of the best that we have here, and I trust that you can do this for me. Please. <laughs> do you know the kind of drug I'm to put into you? First, to make you look like you're dying of a terminal illness. You and I know you are not ready for that. I'm ready. My mind is made up. Please, Dr. Jonathan. I understand and I'm well abreast about your position in the medical field. See, women are meant to be wives in our clan. And when something fishy happens, men are meant to deal with this issue and get to the bottom of it. So we're asking you, because if our women are promiscuous, our men die untimely. So the same question is, can you please help her? I love to raise dust. I love to see people in pain. I love to break people hearts. So now me be happening, lady. Oh.
Clinton. Clinton, what is going on with you? I mean, you've been like this in the, the past couple of days. What is going on? I'm scared. You're scared? I don't understand how you mean by you're scared. I don't know what is wrong with me, but I'm not feeling well at all. <laughs> Excuse me? And you've been lying down here doing nothing? Why haven't you seen the doctor? That's why I'm to I told you that I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't want to go to that hospital. So one doctor will look at me and tell me that I'm going to die. I don't want to hear things, things like you that. You need to get up. Plenty, you need to get up and go see your doctor. What is this? You need to see your doctor stop lying down around here. Jeez. Just get up. Doctor, what is going on? Why are you not saying anything? Clinton is my husband. I have the right to know whatever is wrong with him. Doctor, please, what is going on? He had a car accident. He was very sick. He is not supposed to be driving. Yes, he complained. I, I asked him to come and see the doctor. Why didn't you bring him here? I suspected he went blank when he was driving and lost control. He was brought here half dead. Doctor, please. Listen, doctor, don't even make it look like I'm not caring. I don't. I never knew he was sick. You don't need to blame yourself. The doctors are doing their best. He'll be fine. So, um, please, can, can I see him now? Why not? Come with me. After you, doctor. Are you sure he will survive this? Yes, he will survive. He's responding to treatment. That is the most important thing. So you know this is very strange. Because the Clinton that I know drives even when he is sick. I remember him driving us from Oka to Lagos when he was sick. He drove. Maybe this is the right time to tell you this. Tell me what, Doctor? We discovered he had a lot of internal complications. I suspect he's been managing for a very long time. And he never told anyone. Doctor, you, you are scaring me right now. What do you mean by that? He was diagnosed of a fibrous growth in his brain, in layman's term, brain tumor. What? That was why he went blank. The airbag saved him of physical injuries. The condition is not really a good one. It will take time to correct. He needs to be hospitalized for a very long time. Clinton, what is this? What is... Wh why are you doing this? I am doing all that I can, but, but you are not helping me. Why? Just, just, just look at the 
food I kept for you since morning. Someone that is sick is supposed to help himself by getting up and do something. But you aren't doing anything. Just look at you. Just, 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 just look at you. Just lying down here, lying down here, lying down here. That's all you know how to do. That's all you've been doing. What is it? What have I done to you? What? Why can't you just help me? Do you want to kill me? You're not saying anything. Make yourselves comfortable. Oh, Claudia, look at you. Come on, cheer up. Feeling demoralized will only wake you up and kill you before your time, you know? Calm down, okay? Donna, I am trying my best. I am. So how has he been feeling since he's back home? Has he been responding to treatment? Honestly, Joshua, your friend is giving me hell. How do you mean? How is he feeling? Because I don't like the way you're sounding. Joshua is not helping himself. He's not helping himself to get better. You see, yes, I know he has internal complications, but at least he should get up. He should get up and not lie down there all day. It, it hurts. See, Claudia, I'm sorry this is happening. See, but we're here with your arm and wife. We're here to support you through all this process. We will not let you be alone for one minute, okay? Yes. I know I have busy schedule. But my husband has promised to remedy it. So I can squeeze you in, find time and come and help you. Exactly. Thank you so much. Thank you don't you. need to thank us, thank okay? You. See, we're friends and we'll stay as friends. So just don't seem as if the whole world is on you, okay? I appreciate this so much. Okay? Thank we'll you. We'll do anything for you, we'll <laughs> want. Yes, okay. Thank you. Hey, honey, just keep your company while I say and be free, okay? Uh -huh. such decision when you know this man is very sick and will drop dead any time why would you do that please i beg you hospital is the best place for him to be please mrs O'Connor, you need to understand that the decision i've taken for him is the best he should be in the house and i will always come to attend to him Hear yourself. Can you just, can you just hear yourself? At home? When I have a life to live? Keeping this man at home means I have to put my life on hold. Take care of him 247 at this age? Is, is that what you want for me? Mrs. is Okono. I am aware he has placed you on the fat moon missionary. And he has structured his business in a way it can be running even when he is sick. You lack nothing. So money is a problem now, right? Listen, I have a life to live. He has to be here in this hospital. Come on, I will pay. I will. I don't intend to hurt your life. Well, I'll be detaining one of my nurses who will resume work in your house in the morning and then close at night. So I'll allow you all the time in the world. And who is this nurse? Millicent Ubasanachi, a professional nurse. Yes, it will be difficult to convince her, but she's the best we have here. Hmm. And who is going to pay her? Come on, Mrs. O'Connor. You shouldn't be asking that. A professional nurse is coming to take care of your dying husband. So to allow you all the time in the world. You should know you're the one. Millicent. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Until she comes. Oh, sir, she went out. Okay. She goes out to love this thing, so it's coming to you. Oh, yes, sir. She does. Sir, um, she needs to have her life back, even if it's once in a while. Everybody deserves it. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sir. Sorry, I didn't mean to, to hurt you. I'm sorry. Can I leave, please? Please, sir, forgive me. Those are the most reckless words I have used in years. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Please, my apology. I'd like to be left alone, please. Okay, sir. Whenever you need me. I don't care what they think. I don't care what they say. What no man. Anyhow I want, I go live my life. <laughs> Charles, there's a way you hold a woman that makes me feel that you are a spirit when the door is shut. You know what, baby? I am still surprised we are in your matrimonial home. And I will tell you that matrimony, so to speak, is a thing of the mind. Different people with different approaches to it. Baby, I don't have time for that lecture, okay? You know what? Just give me Tracy's day. Tracy's day. Baby. Hmm. Well, you will eventually get to it. And you will find out that this lady is a hotter in other places. Oof. Well, let it be that you're what you look. Because uh, I will spoil you, silly. Oh, baby, spoil me. I am baby. <laughs> You're silly, you know. Baby, you know, I really want you to move in with me. Baby, you've said that a thousand times. Uh, but you're not responding to it. Because I can't. I have a sick husband. He's going to die any moment. Listen, baby. You know you hate this man's guts. His presence irritates you. So, why not just leave him? Leave the man. Oh, no. Not until I get what I rightfully deserve from his death. And what's that? Well, you will not understand, baby boy. And, um, I will blow your mind when that happens. Oh, I see. So, that's why you have to pretend to be with him, that you love him, right? Who doesn't love money? I mean, who doesn't love maintenance? Did you see that man? He's just doing that. He makes sure I don't lack anything. See? Yes. So, what does he do? Well, his main business is he does stalk online. Do you know, even in that man's sick bed, he's making millions. As young as he is, the man is rich. He's got 
11 estates. It's got a Benin, Port Harcourt, Oka, Enugu, Asaba, Lagos. See, see that man? He is rich. Hmm. So, baby, why not kill him? Just kill him. Why would you say that? Because he's already a vegetable. He is a vegetable. Can't you see that? I am sure he's actually in pain. Baby, you need to get rid of him. Get rid of that pain out of him. Moon him. Get all you need. And then come back right into my house. You know I love you, Claudia. Kill him. Kill the bastard. What is this, Jen? What are you trying to prove? That you are more intelligent than me? And can advise me? I do not see it as advising you, my friend. Because I know how intelligent you are. But I just feel I should tell you the truth. And what truth? You are invading into my personal life. And you call that truth? What do you know about truth? <sighs> well, the truth is this. You are not single like Dorothy and I. Girlfriend, you are a married woman. Married woman. I mean, that status means you should live by rules. Oh, don't give me that rules bullshit. Don't give it to me. Listen. I don't come die with that man. I don't come die with him. He is sick doesn't mean I am sick. I have my life to live. And that's exactly what I am doing. Claudia, what you're doing is wrong. He is your husband. For crying out loud, he is your husband. Okay, fine, I understand. Even if you want to do this kind of a thing. Yes, we are all human. We've got needs. But bringing your toy boy to your to do so what? home, to do it's so not right. What, so what do you want me to do? What? Where do you want me to take him? To a hotel? Yes, to the hotel. Because this man is still alive. And dying. Dying. That doesn't still make this right, Claudia. Claudia. What if this man survives? <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> well, he won't. Because his body is dying already. All I'm trying to do is just to have him sign the necessary documents so I can have access to his wealth when he's fine. That is so mean, girlfriend. That is so mean. Well, Jen, it is what it is. But if you don't want to uh, believe me or be on my side, that, that, that's okay. Are you in your right senses? What are you doing? Believe me if you like. Don't. That's it. Wait a minute. You're praying for this man to die. Is that what you pray? Is that what you wish? That's your word. I never said so. <gasps> Claudia. All right, sweetie. I will uh, have him sign the papers tonight. Then tomorrow you'll have your money, okay? And I promise you, you get your money tomorrow. I love you. What is it? You know that what you're doing is not fair. Excuse me? Husband is lying down on the road, fighting for his life. 
the least you can do is at least be faithful for the remainder of the time he has left. So that at least when he dies, he will think that he had you. Who are you to tell me what to do? Millicent, who are you to tell me what to do in my own house? Who are you? Let's just, let's get something straight here. I am your employer and you, my employee. So you don't have the right to tell me what to do and not to do in my own house. Get that straight. I'm sorry, but I just thought that I'd talk to you like a sister. My conscience couldn't take it and it... Oh, you just shut up. Keep quiet. Fuck you and damn the consequences. What is this? I don't pay you to think with your conscience. I pay you to take care of my decaying husband. And that's what you are going to do. Because that's your job. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Let it not happen again. Because this is the last thing that I want to hear. It's the last thing I want to see around my house. Gossip! Let it end today. Back to your job. I'm sorry. Man. That shouldn't happen again because I don't need all this gossip around my house. That's the last thing that I want to see right now. That's the last thing I want to hear. And I get out. Get out. Sorry. Man. What is this? Telling me what to do in my house? This got to stop. Then we charge God with evil. But if God is the ultimate cause of all things, there we charge him with evil. And not all his gifts good, perfect, and helpful. How can God be good when he permits or does things that seem so destructive and hurtful to human beings? Surely, if we had the power to prevent an earthquake, if we could have stopped the tsunami, we could have done so. Think of the children who become orphans when a natural disaster strikes, as well as the new widows, the depleted resources, and the fresh graves. Is God to be blamed? Yes. What is going on with my wife lately? Mm. My wife. She's a bit different now. You know, she used to pop in here once in a while. around, check to see how I'm doing. But things are a bit different and I'm wondering if you knew what the problem was. Um, maybe she's busy. My wife does not work. I may not be capable to run my company right now because of my condition, but I assure you that even in this position that I make enough to take care of us. Where is my wife? Well, if you ask me, I'll say maybe it breaks our hearts seeing you like this. So maybe it's less painful not to watch the love of our life rot away in pain and not be able to do anything about it. Hmm. I see. Hmm. Hmm. I get it. You know, 
but these things happen sometimes. Yes. And it's not all the time that the other party. is hearty enough to stand by and see it through all the way to the end. But I get it. Clinton, everything will be fine. You need to concentrate more on getting back on your feet again. Trust me, everything will be okay. Hello, baby. Baby, listen. See, I'm still surprised how you made me spend the night in this building again. You won't tell me you didn't enjoy it. Are you kidding me? Who wouldn't? I had fun. Uh, baby, baby, see, I'm still believing that you're going to send me the money you promised so I can change my engine. You know, you don't, you know what I'm talking about. You will get your money before you get to the mechanic. Oh. And specifically, once I get the money I'm expecting, Ooh. I'll change your car. I believe you, baby. You know I believe you. I will always believe you. Um, so, um, the car, pick the car, get to the uh, mechanic then. You give me a call. It's okay, it's fine. Good morning, man. You're just coming to work, I presume? Yes, ma, it's 7.50 a.m. I always come early. I don't care what they think. I don't care what they say. What no Anyhow I want, I go live my life. I go for what I want. Anyhow, anytime. Um, alright, um, you can just go attend. So what is it? Um, Dr. Jonathan, he gave me a message for you. He said he has been trying to call you and you haven't been answering your calls. So what is it? Go straight to the point. What is it? Um, Mr. O'Connell, his medication has run dry. We would need some money to get more medications. Okay. Okay. Okay, like I heard you. Is there any other thing you want to say? Um, I'm sorry, madam. But this is something we need to arrange now. Yes, ma'am. Because... Ma, he's drifting. And if he doesn't get the right medication and in the right doses, I'm afraid he might die. <laughs> let him die. Let, let him die. He has suffered enough, so just let him go. What mother? Millicent, trust me. He will thank me later. I mean, because what is it? Because he's already drifting away and the three surgeries that he did did not work out. What do you want me to do? Prolong the inevitable? Take my message back to him. Okay, man. Claudia, what is this? He is still your husband. He is dying of the mini shoot, hasting his death. Clinton needs your support. 
He needs your support. Well, doctor, trust me. This is the best I can do. Why prolong the inevitable? Let me ask you, if it is you or any other member of your family, wouldn't you help the person? Wouldn't you help the person relieve him of, 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 of the pains? Oh, well, well, maybe I would, but not before I've tried my best. It's just a few weeks. <laughs> a few weeks? It's a very long time if you ask me, doctor. See him that way hurts me. It breaks my heart. I don't like to see him that way. That's why I am doing this. You told me he has just less than eight months to leave. And this is four months. What are you saying? Okay, fine. <laughs> but, but, but get him the necessary medications. Ones that can sustain him before the mother gets here. Did you call my mother-in-law? Oh, I did. I did. He is her son. Well, I am sorry I promised I wouldn't have called, but she's been so, so worried. And your answers to her this period is not been convincing. Doctor, you got it wrong. You are not supposed to do this. You're not supposed to do something like this without the consent of your patient. Doctor, you know you violated the ethics of your profession as consigned to confidentiality. Yes, there is also a clause for a patient's doctor to inform his family when condition is being stopped on. You know I got this under control. Not this one I've seen this period. Not this one at all. How dare you? How dare you? You had the audacity to keep such a thing from me. He's my son. Most importantly, he's my husband. And I'm taking good care of him, Mama. Sure you have. But I have every right to know that he's going to drop dead anytime and go. Oh my goodness. Are you demented or what? Did you know your responsibilities at all? Mama, Mama, do you know how it feels to see my husband like this? Do you know how it feels? Yes, fine, I know you hate me, but I love your son. And I've been doing everything to make sure he gets better. Now, what is it? Oh, my son. Mama, 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 please. You have to take it easy now, all right? None of this is our fault. Okay, please, this is not our fault. I set this whole thing up. Oh yes, I set it up. To understand the woman that I was living with. And so I disappeared for four months. Disappeared. Intentionally into thin air. This woman never called for one day. Huh. This woman did not send such team to look for her husband. She assumed that I had died. And all she did was to squander the money that I had left in the family's account. And in less than four months, this woman here had sold off the estate that I built in her. What? Uh, Clinton? Clinton, are you this evil? Only heavens know who the evil one is. For all that you have shown and all that you have become, I have decided to stay away from the woman who already killed me before my time. Oh. And so I filed for divorce, Uncle. Claudia saw this divorce coming. I feel so sick remembering all this. Yes. Uncle Longbody, I ask you, why are we all seated here? What is the essence of this meeting? To talk me back? Into taking this woman back into my... No, it's not possible. 
God saved my life. The first time I have to save myself. I have found me a very good woman. She I would stay with. This one, no. She had a chance, she blew it. You are a disgrace to manhood and to the institution of marriage. I can't believe you did all this. I still have the nerves to say it cheated on you. I'm really ashamed of you. I'm ashamed of you. She's going. Come back here, you daughter of Jezebel. Come and make your claims. You said you would deal with me. I've not started with you yet. Rubbish. When did it deteriorate to this extent? Until she changed. Sure, God exposed her. She planned it out to kill my son. But she is the one that will die. Yes. I be bad egg, I agree. I feel do anything at all. No, just stand on my way. I beg you, hold your hand, device. So oh. I love to raise dust. I love to see people in pain. I love to break people's hearts. I can't believe he played me. He played me. I fell for it. I fell for it. How can I allow such a nice man just slip through my fingers? How could I? For, for what? For just a little, just a little enjoyment. How could I do, how could I do that? Listen. I am so sorry. I, I feel your pain. I really do. But you want me. You want me. I didn't listen. I, I thought I was playing the game. I thought I was playing the game. I never knew that. I was there. It was there a fun, fun game? I didn't know. You're about to make mistakes. It's not a mistake. It's not a mistake. Yes, once is a mistake, but severally, it's not a mistake. How how did I get here? How did I get here for what? Just a little enjoyment, just to satisfy my my sexual urge, just that, and I lost a nice man, my husband, my happiness, my marriage. I, I ruined my life, my marriage. I lost everything. Just for what? For little enjoyment? How did I do that? How did I... Get yourself together. Claudia, are you crying? Is she crying? What is wrong? Are you okay? What are you doing here? You slut. What are you doing here? You think I don't know? You think I don't know things you've done behind my back? What? Yes, you wanted my husband? And because he did not want you, you checked me? Pulled me to doing everything that I did? That what? is why you advised me wrongly? Diane? Um. You still have the guts to show yourself before me? You tried to seduce my husband, Diane. How could you? Listen, you can do everything to me. But you try to take my man, that's the height of it. And I will not let this slide. Trust me, I'll be back for you. She 
You did all that? Shut up your mouth and help me get up. Help you do what? You deserve more. I'm ashamed of you. How could you? You're very stupid. You are mad. Get out of this place. This stupid shop that does not have AC. I will never come back. Don't come. Betrayer. May the devil punish you. Thunder, fire you. Get out of this place. Sense. Mad woman. Sense. Hey, Stupid shop. Thunder, fire you. I I'm really sorry. No, no, it's okay. It's, sorry. it's fine. I'm used to all this. Don't worry. Thank you. Uncle, it's fine. I totally understand. Uh, most important thing is that you know the truth now. Uh, who wouldn't fall for Claudia's lies? Uh, with the way she presents it, it, it requires um, some <laughs> special devilish skills to do that. But however, uh, we are here today and I believe that I speak everyone's mind when I say that uh, we are happy that the truth is finally out. And we hope that she leaves me and mine alone. Uh, I did. Believe me, I am marveled. My daughter, can you please forgive me? I believe that. And I treated you with coldness instead of want. Please. It's okay, Uncle. You don't need to apologize. I'm not angry. If anything, I'm just happy that my husband has been able to get this off his chest. And for what is what, I am not her. I will never do anything to hurt him. Please don't hurt him. He's a special <laughs> child. That he is. <laughs> thank you, thank you, uh, thank please, you. Uh, try to visit me often, Clint. More often than you expect, Uncle. Mm -hmm. In addition, I have something um, here for you. It's, uh, Uncle, take this. Uh, use it and get whatever it is that you can get to send to the kids. Uh, please, I'd appreciate it. I won't promise to send more. Tintin, uncle. Uh, why are you giving me money? You know I am indeed very comfortable. I know that you're very comfortable, but um, that's a gift from my heart. You're a very good man, uncle. And thank you very much for being a good father figure to me. Thank you. May God be with you. Thank you. We should be on our way. I have a flight to catch. sorry about. I'm sorry for what you went through. <laughs> it was horrible. I mean, you didn't tell me everything, but I knew it was bad. I didn't expect it to be this bad. It was bad. Really bad. You know, I tried. I I tried to preserve her honor. I tried the best that I could not to taint her image, you know? But she wouldn't let me be. You know, you know, you know, I had cameras in that house. Oh yes. I had cameras everywhere, all of them connected to my mobile device so I could see all she was doing. It broke me. broke me. 
Yet I kept all of that to myself and even during the divorce settlement, I left that particular house for her. Left money for her, enough money to take care of herself and start something up for herself. You know, I gave her a fair settlement, but she still won't let me be. She kept coming for my soul to the point where I had no other option but to. As you know, do what I did. You're a good man, Clinton. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, not all men will be able to do what you did. You were good to her. You were a good husband to her. She was the one who didn't know your worth until the end. Yes, you had your own flaws. But you're a good man. Did I tell you that she wanted a particular lifestyle? Yeah. But luckily, I God blessed me and I had the money to give her the kind of life that she wanted. And uh, I give Claudia everything. But that woman stretched me beyond my limits. supposed to say this right now but I can't help it I want you to know that I would never ever do the things that she did come on now don't talk about yourself baby I know you huh I know you I know you inside out I also know that you knew everything that she was doing yet you kept all of that to yourself because you wanted to preserve how you made. Now that says a lot about the woman that you are. That is why I would love you forever. You know, sometimes I wonder how I became your nurse, then your friend, and now your wife. And not just my wife. The best wife that any man can possibly Pray for. You're the best, my darling. And my love for you would never die. I will also love you forever. Because you're my love, my fate, and my happiness. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Okay. Many saints. I am trying to bear. It still hurts too much. Every time I think about how she treated him and listening to him narrating it again, it's just too much. She wrecked him. Yes, she did. For once I thought. I feared he would never recover from it again. But mom, he did. Clinton is a strong man. He has put everything behind him and has moved on. I cursed the day he met that girl. But you used to love her. Yes, because I never wanted to be one of those mother-in-laws who will always make life miserable for their son's wife. I was...
prepared to manage her. But she started giving attitude. Everything started changing. In fact, I hate her now. I feel like strangling her to death. Uh, yes. Well, we may have to look at it from another angle. How do you mean? I think God designed it to be this way. Yes, I mean, how else would I have met him if not this way? Uh, no, don't get me wrong. As much as I am mad at Claudia for putting him through everything. But mom, I still thank her for the man he is now. Millicent. Millicent. She has nothing to do with it. He's become a good man because of you. I owe you an apology because of the way I treated you. Yes. No. You don't owe me an apology. I'm sure you were only trying to protect your son from a nurse who was possibly trying to reap from where she did not sow. Anyone in their right senses would do the same. I hold no grudge against you. I understand you, my dear. But I was wrong and completely out of line. I was afraid for my son. He fell for a woman once as she wrecked him. I was thinking you would do the same. Let for me, he wouldn't be married by now. But I thank God he broke me and he brought you into his life. And I'm sorry for any way that I have offended you. Like I said, you haven't offended me. I'm sure if I'm in your shoes, I would do the same. Yes. I forgive you. You're my mother after all. Hmm? Thank you. Much pains and tragedies on our ways. High mountains, thistles and tongues, wickedness. All around, despite the arrows, yet we stand. Despite the sorrows, our love is strong. You're my love, my faith, my happiness. You're everything I need. You're my love, my faith, my happiness. said you want to be left alone but I just couldn't let you be especially at this state you are right now Jen I'm fine I know you are but right now you're emotionally wrecked even psychologically I mean it's written all over you can't you see Jinder, that man has ruined me. He ruined me. He installed cameras all over this house. Oh my God. Connected it to his phones. 
Everything I did with those boys, he has videos of them. <gasps> and from the, and from what he told me, he has moved them to another device. Oh my God! Kept them where I would not see them, where I don't even know Jen. So tell me, what is your fear? That he will leak those videos to get back at you? Hmm? Jen. Jen, I am. I am devastated. Well, he said he wouldn't do that. He has just crippled me with this evidence. But seriously, from all honesty, this, this, this is really wrong. This is totally wrong. I mean, how can a man wire his own wife just like that? This is an irresponsible thing not, to do. He did not wire me. He didn't wire me. He wired this house that was his at that time. Ah. But he dismantled everything before leaving. Jim, but the damage has been done already. <laughs> Where do I just start to remedy it? Where? Hello, dear. <sighs> I am not saying I understand everything. But one thing for sure. I am right here for you. Anytime you need me. Trust me, I am here for you. Okay. Jim, thank you. Thank you. If, if I had known, I would have listened to you all these years. I wouldn't have been in this mess. I wouldn't have destroyed my perfect marriage. For what? People are bound to make mistakes, my dear. But the most important thing is this. What do we learn from those mistakes? Okay, don't start now judging yourself, please. I don't, I don't need that, come on. Baby, don't do that. You're gonna be fine, all right? You're going to be fine. We're in this together. I am not leaving you alone, okay? <sighs> Meanwhile, um, Dorothy has been coming around. Yes. <sighs> Stop. I don't want to hear that name. I do not need her. Do me a favor, tell her to stay far away from me. Far away, please. I but you. she's still your friend. Listen, misunderstanding is a normal thing between friends. She really wants to apologize. I, I do not need her apology. I don't. <sighs> So that. Is everything okay? Oh no. This is gonna be good. So that. What is it? It's very unlike you to show up here without even letting me know. Is there a problem? Babe, what is it? What's the problem? Clinton. Yes. In all honesty, I don't think this silence treatment is the best way to follow your ex. <sighs> Claudia again. Yes. What did she do? She has been trailing me all day. From where I went to play long tennis to where I went to buy food stuff. But did she confront you? Like, how, how, how did you know she was trailing you? But did, did you two have a confrontation? First, I noticed a taxi with a tinted glass following me. Okay. Then I decided to drive into a gas station. Okay. The taxi drove into the gas station as well. So I decided to confront her. Oh, so, so you met her then? 
Yeah. What did she say? Nothing. She claimed to be going about her business, but that is a big lie. Ah, we know. Clinton, this silence option is not working. We need to teach Claudia a bitter lesson. Baby. I'm sorry. I know you're upset. And you should be. But please, let me appeal to you. For the last time. Ignore Claudia. She's gonna get tired of this theatrics and just leave you alone. You, you see, see the way you are right now? That's what she wants. Don't give it to her. She will get tired. And leave you alone. Believe me. Believe me. I hope, I, I hope she stops. She will. So she will. She will. Ways and tragedies, huddles on our ways. High mountains, tissues and tongues, wickedness all around. Yet we stand despite the sorrows. Our love is strong. Ah, <sighs> my sister, I can finally have some peace of mind. <laughs> yes, I can finally close my two eyes and sleep at night without having any worries. Mm -hmm. Oh. You deserve it. Oh, yes. You really do. <laughs> do you know what it feels like to go straight two weeks without having her shadow locking around me or this house? It's a miracle. I, I understand. <sighs> I truly understand what you mean. <laughs> Meanwhile, how does Clinton feel about this? Clinton? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sure he has never slept this good this past week. Yes. Besides, I think... Him looking at the defeated face of Claudia gave him the push that he needed. Mm -hmm. And permanently shall it remain. Amen. <laughs> like a big, big, big amen to that. You two deserve to be happy. <sighs> Nothing is going to ever come between you two again. Amen, my son. <laughs> amen. Um, babe, you know now. You know I'm not really an ice cream person. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's very nice. Try it. Mm. What's wrong? Like you haven't even touched it. Um, mm. Red wine will go down with me. <laughs> you know. Red wine will go down with you. Tana, you haven't changed. You and alcohol. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sure you know the way to the fridge. Actually, I do. help yourself. <laughs> Continue with this. Thank you. I will. <laughs> Come on, Dana. You don't have to blame yourself. It has happened to so many women. Some would be months on and would not even know. I wonder how Millicent reacts when I tell her of this good news. She will be happy for you, of course. Are you sure? She is. You know, I was with her in her house and I still did not tell her of the good news. And that's because you were not aware. You just found it. I believe if you tell her, she will understand. Do you think I, I should call her or probably go there tomorrow and tell her? Well, I will advise you do whatever your heart tells you. But if I were you, I would keep it to myself. Seriously? Yes. Why should I not tell Millicent? <laughs> you know how demonic the human heart is? Millicent has been believing God for her own pregnancy and it has not even happened. And here you are, already pregnant. Well, I just feel if you tell her, she might not really be happy with you. And she will start wishing you to miscarry. Cynthia, don't say that. Millicent, my friend, will never wish me evil. She has a heart of an angel. Don't say that. I dare trust no one. Just a friendly advice.
What is it? Hmm? Oh my god. Jeez. Millicent, you will not believe that I have not retired to bed yet. We are still seated in the living room because something big just happened. <sighs> it's Ada, it's New Year Day today for you to be calling me at this ungodly time of the night. I will advise you leave wherever you are, go to somewhere very serene so you will not shake the pillars of your house because I'm about to break something, break a news that will shake the pillars of your house. Really? <sighs> okay. Give me a minute. <sighs> Okay. Ah, oh, Dana, you do realize that it's late, as in midnight. Innocent, control yourself. I trust you and I know that we will not do anything bad, right? Yeah, and no matter how far I am from the bedroom, he'll certainly hear me. You do realize that he'll certainly hear me. Hmm? Okay, tell me, what is the news? I, I, um, listen, you're going to be an aunt. What? <laughs> yes, I just found out now. I was feeling somehow and my friend Cynthia advised I ran a test and it came out positive. <laughs> I'm going to be a mother. <laughs> for you. Congratulations, darling. I'm so... Have you told Josh? No, not yet, but I would, I'm, I will tell him in the morning. Okay, no, I will tell him right away. I am sure he will be so excited to hear the news. <laughs> He has waited all his life for this particular moment. And a kick ass mother of that. Oh my god. I'm so happy. You know what you're gonna do? Go in there now and tell daddy that baby is on the way. <laughs> oh, yeah. Claudia! What are you doing here? What do you What do you want? Millicent? Give me the phone. Give me the phone. No. Why are you doing this? What are you doing this for, Claudia? Well, we'll find out very soon. Why don't you just sit? It, right? Uh, who are you? Good question. Someone who has come to fuck your life. Now, get up! Get up! Don't, don't, don't shoot, don't, don't shoot. Get up! Don't, don't shoot me, please. Don't shoot. Get up, please. Please, please. Up! Please, I'll move. 
Please. If you try any nonsense, I'm gonna blow. Come on, move. Listen, Jana, this is not ordinary. You need to wake your husband. But what can you do? I am aware he has the numbers of those officers by Millicent Junction. Tell him to call them to go there now. They will listen to a man more. That Claudia is there and I can tell all is not well. All is not well. She has a role to play. Tell her. What? Don't try any shit. Move. <laughs> Don't try any shit. going to marry him, you dummy. Of course you're divorcing him. No, I won't. You will. No, I won't. He's my husband and he's been nothing but good to me. So I am sorry I will not divorce my husband. You can go ahead and do whatever you like. Claudia, put the gun down. Just, just put it down. Put it down. Let's sort this out. Just put it down. Clinton, you have five seconds to sign this paper. And where I want you to sign it. I'm not going to... Else I will blow off your brain. I can't do it. I won't do it. All right? You and I are done. Don't, don't coerce me into doing this. I will not do it. We are done. All right? I will be the same. Now, that, that's it. Please, put the gun down. She will be yours when and if I say so. You have the count of five. Else I will blow off your brain. I'm not joking. Yes, I'm begging you. Please, 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 just be reasonable. This time, please, this one time. Please, what do you will start again? Please, don't do this. Please, I don't care. Please, please. I haven't been leaving well anyway, so what is it? Listen, 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 listen. You are going to lose way more than you have again. For if you do this, please, please, just, just put the gun down. Please, I beg you. One. Claudia, please. Please, I beg you, put it down. All right? Forcing me to sign this because you're pointing a gun at me with you no fruits. You're, you're not foolish. You know how these things work. Please, put it down. Just put it down. Let's sort things out. Please. Two. Claudia, please, I beg you. 
Put down your weapon. Drop your gun. Drop it, drop it. This is your drop. Drop your weapon, mother. Drop. Officers, this is not your business. Stay away from this. This man right here is my husband, and this is a family business. Leave me alone. Stay away. We need to settle this here. Woman. Of Put that weapon down. Listen to them. Put it down. Claudia, come on. Put it down, woman. to the office. The woman that has been tormenting me all this while finally died. Well, she died in our home. <clears throat> I understand. I don't know how I'm supposed to leave and raise this child in that house. Every day I'm going to call my friend who is a real estate agent and get him to find us some very nice service apartment somewhere in town. Somewhere you'd like. Uh, I'll allow you to make the pick. So we'll just be there until we buy ourselves a new home. Where we can live. As one happy family. 
Thank you so much, babe. You're welcome. So you will go through all the stress for me. Baby, it's not stress. If it makes you happy, it is not stress. I love you. I love you too. You know, it makes me feel filled, um, remembering what you said even at gunpoint. That you belonged to me. And <laughs> there was no way you were going to leave me. Thanks for that assurance. You're welcome. Those were words from my heart, you know. I gave you my word, baby. I'm not going anywhere. You and I are inseparable. Claudia tried to separate us and died in the process. No one would separate us. Nothing. I'll be here for you. I'm with you. Forever. For you are my love. My fate. And my happiness. You're my love. My fate. I love my you. happiness. You're everything. Instead of hatred, all I see 